if you got daddy issues, you've come to the right spot. You're here for the cunt stream. Some sort of midweek kind of a stream. I'm the co-host, Samaj, to the owner person here, the cunt stream, Schmeckle. We have some sort of an anal probe enthusiast, um, also known as an alien, <laughs> who has muted himself, uh, the middleman. We have a, uh, a badger. Um, yeah. And Huffle Rough. And we also have Dolphin Radio, a much more intelligent individual than myself. So, <laughs> what the hell that's is your problem? The bar very high, man. <laughs> Do funnier intros. No. <laughs> no. No. Hey, at least for? someone with effort? I don't know how to open or close a video or stream, so I'm, I, I give you props for taking that, that job. Oh, uh, well, I can't do that. That's Schmeckel's doing. I just show up. <laughs> yeah, he didn't take that job so much as it was thrust upon him. Yeah. Hey, sometimes yeah, the best man, opportunities are thrust upon well. him. He, take, he took it like a champ. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, Jesus. I, I, you know, it's funny. I, I, I knew this stream was happening, and I thought, well, I'll just make up some clever introduction in case he calls me on to do it. And I totally forgot everything I was going to say. Totally nice. forgot. I had to make it up on the spot. Daddy issues. Yeah, oh, award-winning speech. It would have been gone down in history as like the greatest joke of all time. Oh, for fuck's sakes, yeah. But Isn't instead, that what the stream is? Instead, I just binged Rick and Morty, and I just kept thinking to myself, you know, the biggest problem of this show? Daddy issues. Absolutely. <laughs> the big you should have mentioned the biggest issue is is the lack of uh, lack of creativity in opening this damn stream. Oh, I mean that that's always an issue, um, especially when you, you, it's why I outsource it. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm, I'm the art dude. You need something. You need me to make something look pretty. That's fine. You need something with words. I don't know. <laughs> We <laughs> call this, Guys, we okay, call this next subcontracted time, labor. Next time we open up one, uh, can can we just all scream into the microphone? I think that would be better. Whee! Yeah, just everybody, everybody, lean in really close to their mic and scream, and then they'll open up. I, 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 I don't really now. think that the audience is going to enjoy that. <laughs> the no. view count will go from like a hundred to zero in in mm -hmm. just like that one second. Yeah, just, just post <laughs> Sargon of Akkad, Bering, and and uh, and I don't know some other big are all going to be on the stream tonight. And once you get a couple thousand in there, you hit live, and everyone just starts going. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we communicate the entire stream <laughs> for seventeen minutes straight. And there will be Sargon and stuff. It's just going to be sock puppets. <laughs> There's going to be one person <laughs> with their camera on showing like a sock puppet show. Oh, what did I say Sargon was good? We're actually going to be reviewing Sargon's work. <laughs> Sorry <laughs> about that. PewDiePie in the title. You know, actually, uh, for the people here in the audience, we will be having PewDiePie later. Yes, yeah. So stick stick around, tell your friends, and tell him to get in the chat. Yeah, thank you. Like, uh, I'm going to be honest, I mean, much, much, much later, and one of you cunts needs to ask him, me and him aren't on good terms, but, no, uh... Are you on any terms at all? No, no terms at all. <laughs> yeah, we we haven't spoken once, so uh, not very good terms. Endearment, <laughs> maybe. Maybe, maybe, I mean... The, the... He has no idea who I am, and I'm not entirely sure I know who he is. I said I hi once, and he turned he turned away from me. Lies, but they won't reveal their secrets. What are the, uh, I'm I'm reading the chat here. What is um, is that? What kids are calling their penises these days? Oh, okay. uh, uh, no, actually, I call mine wrath of controversy. But that's a story <laughs> for another day. <laughs> Apparently, go. I uh I passed Tabuscus over at the uh, convention. Oh shit! So it's that giant middle finger sticking up, isn't it, Schmeckle? <laughs> I, I have to admit, though, it's not quite as long as Rat's middle finger. Dude's mm. got some. Let's it, be honest. That's true. When, when he had his uh, icon as his as his picture, I like. I was I was legitimately impressed with how obscenely long his finger was. <laughs> What the fuck are we laughing about? I have no idea. 
I'm, I'm uh, sure it's something clever. You know, seeing as everything that happens, Kim Kun stream fuckwads. See, <laughs> God, I love this so much already. <laughs> I've never been on a country and I already, I already fucking love it. This is just a subpar one. They don't ever invite any of us whenever there's big guests. Cause All right, guys, who's that going in the background? Yeah, the midweek ones are my uh, opportunity to schmooze with my lessers. <laughs> lessers? Oh, God. <laughs> lessers, my ass. I have more subscribers than you and Maybe your I should have oh. lied and told you that I had 8,000 subscribers or some shit. <laughs> I, 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 I have more subscribers than my future. lesser. An upper lesser? <laughs> I have more subscribers in the future than you do right now. <laughs> oh, God. Shut up. Just, so just wait I have more time. subscribers in the future than I do right now. <laughs> you I guys are both being overly optimistic. I'm yeah. dead in the future. That's way oh, too Oh, by the way, that reminds me. I'm at 95, so if I can get, like, five more subs, then I can change my channel name from, like, X278462-M yes, or whatever. Yeah, we've got whatever. 16 viewers right now. At least five of you cunts can do this cunt a favor. <laughs> just, just subscribe. You know, that was my main goal. One of his very many, very disappointing dreams. It makes Dude, so much better than us. He makes so much better content than me, and he's he's a uh, got a 350, or no, 355 less subscribers. Done. Boom. Subscribe to you. All right, that's one though. Awesome. <laughs> You're welcome. Actually, fuck. I should I, I subscribe to you. Adult. <laughs> how, um, how long have you not been subscribed to me? Oh, I'm up to now. No, I am on the, uh, on the Schmeckle account. I'm not on the Cunstream account. Wait, oh, I'm supposed okay, to subscribe yes. to you guys? Yeah. Oh, I apparently. I'm sorry. Who are you? Did I get unsubscribed? I think I got unsubscribed from Dolphin. Oh shit! Actually, you know, I've noticed that that's been going on for quite a while. There's a lot of people who I'm becoming unsubscribed to. Um, yeah. like you play a pod. I knew I was subscribed to you, and then I checked today, and it says I'm not. Apparently, the Western Front uh, and Feature History are my two uh, like related channels. As well as drunken peasants. Hey, the Western Front's a good, good, good uh, podcast. I know show. because I'm on great terms with both of the fucking people. They come on my podcast regularly now. Yeah, man. Uh, and fucking Ape is uh, is fantastic. His, Ape's his coming on Thursday. Uh, oh, to the well, tomorrow actually, and then uh, Kraut and I have a stream on Saturdays. He's coming on four twenty. Four twenty, man. Hey, what's the uh, what's the subject with Kraut on Saturday? I don't think I'm going to do it this Saturday because I have uh, Thunder over Louisville, so I don't think I have uh, time to actually do it this Saturday. I was going to let Kraut maybe do it, or I was going to let somebody well, take my account over and see if they could run it for me. All right, I could probably do that for you if you want. Yeah, man, uh, let me message Kraut real quick. I, yeah, I, 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 I can, it I can take it over. I'll just leave the video camera on a snail. Oh, perfect. <laughs> okay, that's great. All right. Excellent. Speaking of snails, I got to slug myself off uh, and out because I got to get ready uh, for, for tomorrow. But uh, good good talking. Good uh, good seeing y'all. I'll be that back. That was a bad pun. You should feel bad. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Hey, Elvis, Elvis the alien. Hey, fuck off. Wait, hang on. I had to tell you something else. I've had Star going on the stream too. In, in, in Area 51. Now there's a cunt on the cunt stream. No, fuck. Oh, God. Yeah, you wow. need to so There we, we are. Oh, we got some be, fucking vag. Yeah, let's be, let's be perfectly Before honest this, here. We've had, had we've had plenty of cunts what? on this stream. We just haven't had proper fish smelling ones. <laughs> <laughs> we still fish haven't had a proper on. fish smelling about, one, I guarantee have, you that. Have, have, <laughs> have, have I told you guys about the list that I've been keeping up with, with, uh, People saying stupid shit that's really funny that I laugh about. You, you have told me that you've made a list of things that I've said. And I'm very curious of this list. And I'm sure I, I fully acknowledge everything that has, that has been said would on my you, part. Would you guys like to hear some of this? Well, let, let's hear it. I've already seen you. Wait, so hold so on. Okay. I have an idea. I, wait, I have an idea. You say it, and we're going to try and guess who, it, who said it. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, read through these real quick. So, uh, Hill people are worse than gypsies and Jews. Schmeckle. Yeah. Wrong. Dang it. I have no idea uh, how to say that. 
It wasn't. Oh, uh, it wasn't Wrath of Controversy, was it? No, it's not. It, it's uh, someone we all know. It was my grandmother, though. right? No, it was not your grandmother either. <laughs> Chairview. No, it was not Chairview. Although, Fuck. I, I I know he's out of the hospital now. So, and he hasn't um, responded to anything. So, hopefully, he's feeling better. Um, Here's open. Um, uh, uh, Reckless Trucker. No, it's not Reckless Trucker either. Oh, I I can Maybe. name it. All right, I give up. It is uh, Egg Lord. Oh. Yeah, of course. Mm. Mm. All right. So uh, here's my next my next one. Uh, we need more fish smelling cunts in here. <laughs> Gee, I wonder who that is. Samaj. It was Samaj. <laughs> uh, atheists make shitty oracles. Oh, uh, that's uh, got you reckless. No. Yeah. For some reason, I thought you said oral. <laughs> no. Atheists oracles. give shitty oral. <laughs> <laughs> Atheist give shitty oral. I feel like that was uh, Egglord again. It was. It was indeed Egglord again. Well, is most I mean, of your list Egglord? Right? Uh, it's either Egglord, Samaj, or myself. <laughs> I'm just going to limit it to those. <laughs> All right. So like uh, Egglord. <laughs> yeah. So Egglord was correct. So um, uh, I put it in. So when we when we were talking about six doll brothel ring. Do you think they could do the same thing with anime body pillows? Samaj. Angry MGTOW? Uh, I'm going to no. say it, it's um, Octane. No, it was not Octane. God damn it. Uh, it, it was yet again Egglord the Nosferatu. God damn it. That, that guy is a <laughs> reservoir of creative, t- creative words. I thought for sure okay. it was an angry MGTOW. I wonder how triggered an ANCAP truck driver would be. Jay. Egglord. Incorrect. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Amanda? Oh, never mind. She's she's taking care of the child. What about you, Smackle? That sounds like something that came from the mouth of Wrath of Controversy. Incorrect. It is Samaj. Yeah. <laughs> I often think of a think of a uh, an ANCAP trucker just permanently triggered every day on the job. Um, this person yeah. said, "I'm angrier than an ANCAP truck driver listening to On the Road Again." Samaj. No. Reckless. Magnus Deacon? No. Otimus Christ. It was me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lame. Wow, she's gagging hard on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. Uh, or you? No, wait, you weren't there for that conversation. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what we were talking about when this happened. I think it was... um. Oh, what was it? Oh, is oh we were watching the video of when that dude like slams his brakes on. Wait, wait, wait! Like, I'd like to take a comment from the audience. Okay, okay what's what's? John Doe says, "Those atheists spend all the time on their knees asking the priest to provide proof their penis exists." Oh snap! <laughs> and I feel like, I feel like he's destroyed atheism right there. Uh, <laughs> rip, He's rip, definitely rip taking atheism. a shot across the bow. From now on, I believe in Zeus. Listen, With here. All- Listen. Uh, fellow, fellow religious man, just not making fun of people for their religious. Come on, man. Okay, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Fuck, fuck all y'all. Just make well, fun of everybody. Well, if you're gonna like, hail Odin. Yeah, I was gonna hail say Odin. if you're gonna worship one of the guys, go with Odin. Don't go with Zeus. Yeah, go Zeus is kind of like, Zeus is really Lord messed Jesus. up, dude. Odin was a one-eyed cunt who could be taken out by like five of his sons. Did Why Zeus... the fuck should you worship that cunt? I, I mean, at least he, he had really cool sons. Yeah, his sons were great. He was a fucking pussy in the end. Well, then there you go. Worship. Zeus had sex with his sons. own kid, though. Yeah. yeah, but at least, but at least his sons. Several times. Him. Zeus is and literally the epitome. Yeah, Zeus is literally the epitome of uh, pedo- pedosexual. Probably. Yeah, no, Zeus was yeah. also pretty fucked up. Upon his birth, he killed his father and married his sister, who he had to cut out of his father's stomach because he ate all of the babies that his wife produced because an oracle had told him that one of his children would destroy him. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's how Zeus came into being. You guys didn't read that? Uh, anyways, so um, while she's gagging hard on that thing was in reference to a video 
of a uh, dude. I guess it's his girlfriend. Is like eating ice yeah, cream. Yeah, it, it is kind of all about dude, Zenu, but dude, Odin would what? definitely be Zenu. Z- I'm sorry, I'm reading. The, I'm, Fucking I'm, I'm definitely. I'm reading. I'm reading the chat. I think that I think that in a fight, Odin would be Zenu. Zenu easily. Zenu like Zenu doesn't even have a giant spear. Odin has a listen giant here. spear. Listen, Seriously. listen. You know who would win? Jesus. <laughs> 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 yeah, because every time you punch him, he just heals. Talking talking about angry little girl. I'm not going to just King Kong her off of the fucking roof. <laughs> <laughs> who, who do you think that was? Schmeckle. No, it was not Schmeckle. <clears throat> he's the Schmeckle. gorilla. It would fit better. No, it's, it's Mrs. Schmeckle, right? It was not Mrs. Schmeckle. <laughs> What about you, Dolphin? Who do you think it was? Oh, I'm going to go with, uh, you know, that that kind of sounds like Reckless. No, it was Samaj. Uh, it was his, it was his, um, it was, it was my, his... uh, my, my brother's girlfriend was spending the night and she brought her child who has, uh, apparently <laughs> issues with bedtime. So I was on a stream there with Plipod and, and, uh, Egg Lord. You could hear this child just screaming, I'm like, "Yeah, I'm not getting any sleep till that kid dies or something." <laughs> and they sure. were making, I think making a bunch said. of King Kong references. So, yeah. Talking about same child, time to introduce that kid to Heart Progress. <laughs> wow. that's, that, that's disgusting. Who was that? Who said that? Which one of you is that horrible? I'm gonna that's say that. It could be any of us. I'm going to say Egg Lord. You're incorrect. It was me. Uh-uh. Oh, you're going to hell for that. You realize? I don't. I'm already going to hell anyways. I'm already there's dead on the inside. There's a special <laughs> circle in hell <laughs> for the trolls. And yeah, you're going there. They just added a, a, a right. tenth level. And I'm there. The troll level. <laughs> hey, do you guys want anybody special in here? Uh, no, no, I don't have time to deal with autistics. <laughs> You're, oh, wait, well, Flutter's already here, so. Uh, bring in you whoever you want. That. Cool, man. I want to invite, uh, random people. Everyone. Random people. Just throw it out on Twitter and see what the <laughs> fuck happens. I'm just going to tweet out the link. <laughs> he said anybody. Well, well, we could always try and trigger, um... Angry MGTOW, and he can just put this, the stream out to his followers. Yes, yeah. actually, I am going to right now send Angry MGTOW the link. Oh, fuck. We all know he won't boy. join, but I'm putting the offer out there. I'm going to invite Base Mommy. Get Skeptic Simba, jo- John Doe, Miggiest of Tau, Satan and Satire, Red Robot, Huckleberry Talks, everyone. Huckleberry Talks? Yep. Christ, don't invite any of those cunts. They all sound like garbage. Fuck I'm inviting Bunty King. Complete pieces of shit. Every name you listed. Uh, Abuse yeah, your power. Hey, terrible. Four don't times. Those are all my buddies. You're, you're hating on all the people watching right now. Yeah, you're subscribers, <laughs> man. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm well aware. You get shite subscribers. Our subscribers are Garbage. They're, they're you realize every everyone. one of these cunts should probably just go drink the bleach. You guys realize yeah, that like all of our subscribers are like in, intertwined. Dude, my subscribers are the best cunts ever. What are you talking about? We all have the same subscribers. What the fuck are y'all talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah, I mean, like doc puppet accounts in you guys. I was gonna say, listen, if, listen, if we all okay. Had the same How about subscribers? This? Y'all would have more subscribers. Uh well I mean I have four hundred and fifty subs. Do any of you guys I'm have proud and key in your subscribers? Wow, yeah. Modern Medusa like just now subscribed to me. Huh. Oh, I've had her. Two days ago apparently. Giggity. Yeah, I was gonna so, say. Uh, I've <laughs> had her. Let's hear the story, Con. Hey, what? hey, I've got the tits, the sugar tits. I have sugar tits. Oh, she's as well. also one of my subscribers. I used to be followed by sugar tits, but uh, I had Michael Rollins on my show, and she decided, I think, that she didn't want to follow me anymore. <laughs> she <laughs> just followed me on Twitter the other day. I was so excited, but she's been subscribed to me for a while. I've crowned. I was really devastated by that. I was. I was actually very upset about that. Feature that history. Too. Feature history. Who has a little check mark beside his name? 
because it's verify. Got sugar one, kits. Right, so one one subscriber I have that I kind of find ironic is the irreligionist. I'm gonna invite Angry Migtow. We'll see if he if he wants to come on. So, I have that girl with opinions. So Angry Migtow, he um deleted. I know he deleted his YouTube account, but now it's back up. He's got like five videos on there. By the uh, way, he I could think you're on your personal account. Cough, cough. What? Uh, random person who just joined. I think you just. I, I think you got your wrong account there. Oh shit. Yeah, uh, that's. Uh, I don't think Carlton T is subscribed to me anymore. I can't find him. There we go. So oh, hopefully, I think he, he hides uh, hopefully he'll join. Hopefully. Um, Did I you just say realized... he hides his subs now. Yeah, I think he hides his subs now. Ah. Uh, so he could still be subscribed to me. Okay. So I just realized I, I, I failed in my uh, my duties, and I didn't ask the the question to uh, uh, the middleman while he was here. <laughs> uh, oh, you fucking failure. What the fuck do I not pay you for? Go stand in the <laughs> corner and feel bad about what you've done. Go feel I, bad about yourself. And also feel very good about how, how much you uh, made me happy with those fucking pictures that you drew. Right. Yes. Well, oh, yeah. You're still fapping to those? Uh, oh, wait. Be... Different pictures. Never mind. My bad. Shh. Listen, listen, listen. Shut the fuck up. Fucking dolphins, man. Stop uh, I'm things. pretty sure Amanda is new, though. No. I don't think Amanda's been in here before. I think she's been here once before. No, I don't think you ever have let me on the stream before. Well, we'll we'll wait for a little bit to see if anyone else turns up. You know what? Our, our one of our other carnal sins is we didn't ask Jeff Holiday the question or Angry uh, Migtail. I don't Angry think we actually asked Angry Migtail the question either. No, or no. Andy Worski. Oh. But to be fair, there was a lot of drama going on, and people had more important things to talk about. So, someone okay. invite Angry Migtail back on. I did. <laughs> actually, what? Tina's here. I even called him beautiful and put a little XOXO, so he should feel welcome. Tina, here's a question for you. What? Would you rather fuck Lacey Green or Nate Sarkeesian? Oh, God, not this again. Uh dude, dude, let's do, let's, let's change it up. Come on, Zoe Quinn or, or Lori Penny? No, no one wants to fuck a fucking trap. I'd, I'd rather die. Exactly. I See, like, it makes it difficult. Lori, no, no, no. Uh, Lori Penny or Zoe Quinn? Neither. Well, or, or if we really feel the, the absolute urge, we can always ask it in a different way. You have to have a threesome with these two ladies. Who do you want to have sucking you, and who do you want to have sitting on your face? Uh, oh, no, that's a horrible what? question. Oh, Lacey, what? Green's, like, Lacey Green's sucking and a need on my face. because. Okay, but here's the thing. You, if, whoever's on your face, you get to hear their voice. Who's ever sucking you down there? You can't hear their voice because they're too busy sucking you. Yes, but the herpes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Wait. But the herpes. You'd rather have Lacey on your face because of the herpes. You'd rather have just a face full of herpes. Than I can. I can guarantee, and I know from experience that you can have two sucking at the same time. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah, just sorry. I would much rather have genital herpes than just herpes sores all over my face. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, I forgot about that. Right, yeah, hmm. I would rather just murder them both. <laughs> like, I'm not fucking either one of you. <laughs> Try to fuck me, I'll kill you. <laughs> I'd rather just kill myself. Is that an option? Secret option B, kill yourself? Well, <laughs> the gun is always an option. Lacey Green, Anita Sarkeesian, and a gun on the table. Which let, let's be fair. Once the D is done, you know you're going to kill yourself anyway. The question is how fast do you grab the gun? <laughs> no, I think in this scenario, you only get the gun after you've done the deed. Mm, that's so like a reward. You get the gun in the head after you've done it. It's like a reward. Guys, you get the gun and there's one bullet. Who do you, who do you uh, kill? Yourself, duh. You're, yeah. You have to fuck the one that you don't kill. Why don't you just line them up? And That's just... what I was going to say. Take them both out with one bullet. No, see, I don't see why you guys would even argue that. 
I would bang the shit out of Anita if she didn't good. say a word. That's true. If she never spoke, I would bang. Wait, I have the misses here. <laughs> that you bitch would is bang a two the shit out of Anita, wouldn't you? Say it. Over the two. I'm sure. The bitch uh, is a two bag. I think it's the first time I've ever heard Miss Schmeckle speak. No, like, given one or the two, then yeah. <laughs> not over many others. Well, no, not over somebody actually attractive. <laughs> but I mean, you would fuck Anita. Uh, however, ladies fuck, you know? Like, <laughs> tongue stuff, I guess. <laughs> 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 As Smackle talks like he's never hey. been on Pornhub. By the way, guys, did you guys know that I have now? Did you guys know that I have a custom URL now called uh, YouTube.com forward slash the Politipod? Yeah. No, oh, you finally hit a hundred, eh? Finally, almost at five hundred. You fucking bitch. Yeah, you just didn't realize you could get a custom U uh, URL until recently, right? Well, I didn't actually know that you could do that until you just like brought it up a second ago, so I yeah. changed it. <laughs> By the way, is you yeah. still going through with that whole thing of uh you have to get around good question get ten thousand views? Yes. yes Isn't that for super chat doing. to get paid? Mm-hmm. That is correct. When are they gonna do that? I thought that was only for super chat. It's already kicked in, Huff. Dang it. That means I'm not getting money. No. Nope, uh, well, that's not no. Money. If you no, if you're um now if your channel who had partners with YouTube beforehand, you still get money. At least I am, and I don't have ten thousand views. I have seven thousand three hundred thirty nine. No, I'm still you money don't position. have ten thousand views. It'll keep showing up in your estimated revenue. You'll keep being able to monetize, but no ads will actually show up on the videos. Gotcha. 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 Okay. Which Money. means you end up making nothing. Fuck all. Go to my Patreon, people. I have no patrons right now. Yeah, I would uh, like at least one patron. If anyone could donate like $2, that would be awesome. Fuck you, Sam. You'll get one and you'll be happy with it. All right, one an hour. <laughs> well, well they, I mean, you're just paying Patreon at that point. <laughs> <laughs> Even better. Yeah, like enjoy your money. That token donation. Hey, hey, Smosh, did you hear me earlier when I asked about artwork, or was I muted? You may. Uh, been... You've constantly been muted. You, you may. In fact, well, you may have been muted, or maybe I was because I had to head out for a quick sec. Uh, well, no, I went for a smoke, and I. <laughs> 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 okay, what I was going to say is, are you able to redo my avatar, Schmeckle? <laughs> or not Schmeckle? <laughs> Let's watch Schmeckle draw. We, we yes, actually. Um, hang on. Wait, what, what's your avatar again? Show it to me. I, I'm going to redo your avatar for you. Peanut. <laughs> Have you just seen my new avatar that I fucking love? Okay, here we go. I'm going to do this. Uh, it's going to be a penis. Like, like, we'll do this live for you. Okay, that should be good. <laughs> it's going to be a penis. Yeah, this is, this is going to be some of the best artwork you've ever seen. Uh, I hope you all have your picks out ready to go. Uh, for the ladies here, uh, like. Pull out my lady dick. Lapping, yeah. Lap sticks out for Schmeckle. Hey, by the way, Bunty, uh, Bunty might be coming. Just, to, just FYI. Cool. Bunty, I recently heard of him. You know, the, the, we could always try. <laughs> if Angry Mito comes on, we can always try to invite uh, uh, Jeff Holiday. See, oh, see uh, if, no, yeah. that wouldn't be the greatest idea right now. Oh, okay then. Was that? No, just let him. Uh, let him because when thing. legal shit's involved, you generally shouldn't talk about it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, we will. Yeah. You can't, we can't, you, it, it would be not a good idea to have both of them on the stream at the same time. Let me just, uh... Did that actually go somewhere, legal-wise? Um, Jeff's policy on that is he's not going to discuss it, um, but he said that he is actively dealing with it, so I'm going to assume, yeah. Alright, no, if Jeff says that, not talk about it then. 
good enough. Yeah. Yeah, all I know is I I sent Jeff the conversation that I'd had with Angry Make Town, and I told him, you're fucking crazy. I would sure shit take this seriously. And he never responded back to me and blocked me. Like, at the end of our conversation, we... Well, well he blocked a girl? Are you fucking kidding me? That's he was never been heard of before. He was all pissed at me because um, I'd, uh, I'd told Jeff, holy fuck, this is going way too far. Do you want to use one of my knives or are you going to use one of yours? <laughs> <laughs> so he wrote me, he was like, what the fuck, Amanda? And I was like, dude, way too fucking far. Oh my god. <laughs> the new avatar. Let's see oh, this avatar. I knew it would have a penis. There is hey, a oh, it's got little titties too. Nice. <laughs> oh, yeah, boy. This one's gonna be age restricted, isn't it? Well, I mean that peanut has a penis, so probably. Didn't our last stream get like banned from like two hundred and some countries? That was, uh, that there was you well are. Oh, I forgot your mustache. I'm very yes. sorry. Was that the stream? If you get rid of acceptable, Jesus Christ. Was that was the one that got banned in two hundred countries? Is that the one Angry McDonald's on? Dude. Yes. Well, to, be, to be fair, just having him on gets rid of like seven. <laughs> Did you still see this fucking comment from one of those fucking uh, Daddy O Five and Mommy O Five videos? It's like I can't wait to see the prank where Cody pulls the plug on your life support in twenty years. <laughs> yeah. <it's not> <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys all see my video from it's earlier just today? A prank assholes. No, not yet. I, your, your, your uh, video. I, I, saw, I saw the video with the cats. Yeah, fuck yeah, you did. It's fucking awesome, right? I like how at the end, one of the cats just meows at you because it's so fucking confused at what you're doing. <laughs> I was like, hey, hey, hey. talking about you, I said, Oh my god. Have you guys not seen my fuck? Hang on. I fucking sent it to everybody. Let me let me copy the link of they this tweet. They shared it, I think. You didn't send it to me. I bet. Maybe. I don't know. I'm forgetful. If you guys are watching this and there's nothing else you want to do after, please go over to Liz Reptile stream because she is banned from streaming and that's how she makes her income. Holy shit! What what happened and there? She, she, got, got she got a false flag. On, false false strike. Yeah, She got a false flag on the channel because of uh, I think an Angry McTow probably. Uh, it was either Angry McTow or it was Daddy of Five because she's been involved in both and both of their fans are ridiculous. Or some jackass Tildeer fan maybe. Oh, that's right. She was involved in the Teal Deer shit, wasn't she? Yeah, it could have been that, too. Wait, did something new happen with Teal Deer? No, I mean, she what was just in that man. original video of uh, Cognitive Thoughts, and Cognitive Thought is kind of going off about it, so maybe somebody decided to, you know, go after her for it. I'm just saying, maybe. She's in a lot of drama. What, with maybe. Ogre? Huh? No, Cognitive Thought had drama with Teal Deer. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I saw something was going on, and I immediately looked away because drama I, is just. There drama. seems to be a lot of drama. In, yeah, in, I saw in I saw them. I saw Cog going back and forth with Teal Deer, and I didn't pay attention to it because at the same time there was Jeff's drama with Megtow and the Daddy of Five stuff, and I was like, "You're the like third less interesting of the two. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry. Oh, man, I'm <laughs> so. And please, guys, like donate whatever you can to Liz because she's a she's a great lady. She's awesome. Yeah, she's yeah. helped me out. She, out so. She's helped me out so fucking much, dude. I like uh, she's one of the fucking people. Like <laughs> I uh, I actually like said her by name in my video, my thank you video from you guys. Um, Liz is beautiful. And oh, I, I hope I get that screenshot in time. Ah, oh, fuck! You. Hang on, Schmeckle. Leave that fucking thing up the entire stream. It's fucking beautiful, isn't it? Leave it up the entire stream. It is gorgeous, man. Like, <laughs> make that the thumbnail for this. I, I, I want to use that as my avatar <laughs> now, but it it's already got butternutter on there. I'm, I'm gay. Oh. <laughs> I knew the thing would have a penis because y'all are men. everything. Oh, Are that's you implying rude. that women's women's vaginas can't droop down? Uh, I'm sorry. Is there any way you can call what I've drawn there a penis? That's totally. Take a, a look at that. Penis. It's a peanut penis. Damn it! I'm sure that I'm sure that's what Angry Migtow's penis looks like. So yeah. <laughs> Small stumpy. Did you guys see that? Uh, on it. Did you guys see that fucking like the most random people ever? We're on. Oh, it was you, wasn't it, Schmeckle? You and fucking Rath were on a stream with Keemstar yesterday, weren't you? Oh my Rath god. Rath was. I wasn't. 
There, there you go. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I I there was Team Star, Chris Reagan, Mister Repsion. Oh, I was a bunch of. I big miss uh, Alex. Alex, um, he's a. Yeah, Alex. I think um, he's got I'm uh, Alex. He's a, he's, yeah, I'm Alex. Yeah, he's a. He's pretty. No, good you're team. Sam. Tonka. Dumb. <laughs> and you're Schmeichel, not the country stream, bitch. What's that? <laughs> Sorry, I, I was you're talking Schmeichel, not the country. about how dumb that Sam cunt is. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll just kill myself. That's fine. Oh, cool. <laughs> Do it on stream. I, I, I've, seen, I've seen pictures of your place. I know you got the guns to get the job done. Turn your camera on yeah, and commit suicide. Look, dude, if you're going to commit suicide, live stream it. You know, for yeah. screen viewers, we are advocating suicide. Can you guys all vote yes or no in the chat? Should Politipod <laughs> kill himself right now on camera? Press one for seppuku. Seppuku by a, a, the American seppuku. So in other words, you're going to have a gun point to your chest and then just shoot it. All right, 42 uh, is one vote. So that means definitely yes. No, 42 is um, not one. Good. That's uh, that's a yes. There's a yes. Uh, he said yes or no, so that means definitely yes. So many ones coming in. Um, Politipod, turn your camera on, grab your gun, and let's go. Okay, I'll. Uh... Oh, <laughs> still presenting. No, we need. You guys in the chat aren't voting on this. I don't want to hear you say anything. <laughs> and y'all who voted for it, you better uh, pay up afterwards. Hey, you guys hey, want yeah. to the most annoying have to, have to yeah, do it yeah, for the fans. Hey, do you guys want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> quite a while. What the heck was that? <laughs> no, I meant they should like uh, pay in the super chat for watching that. You know, you brought them a death live. This yeah, how do we, I, can you guys like help me set up one of those for um, the stream tomorrow? Because I would like to have What's that. Up? I have no idea how they work. I don't super either. Chat? I think that's what yeah. it's called. It's for like Super Chat, you need so many subs. Yeah, you need over a thousand subs. Yeah, I think it's like a thousand yeah. is the limit. Okay. You can set I'll up be, a stream. You can set up a stream. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking <laughs> That's my argument as to why that was not the uh, most annoying sound ever. Just don't <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I know it's so I feel like he just <laughs> This stream was brought to you by Cancer. <laughs> this stream was brought to you by Ding X. Ding X. Go fuck yourself. See, else is gonna. This is why I get lazy when it comes to the ad reads, because you motherfuckers just keep coming in and stealing my job. <laughs> well then, do your job quicker. I've been doing, job quicker. I've been doing ads since I was in high school doing radio. I, I've been trying to, you know, be clever and, and, and weave way weave it in somehow. Nah, not not with you cunts. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a cunt stream. This is where we belong. Indeed, mm -hmm. indeed. Yeah, but this is a cunt stream. There's no need for cleverness. I think I might stream hop here in a little bit uh, over to the other. Liz well, Rip it's Rip about stream. time. Go. Whore. Well, not yet. Sam, I'm trying to help Sam. out Liz Reptile though. Sam, go. Sam. I can't. I, I can't yet. Look, it's not, look, it's not you won't kill yet. yourself on camera. Just go. Yeah. Hang on. Turn on. Turn on. Turn on. While he waits for his better stream. Wizard of Cause is apparently here. People keep saying hi to people in the chat that I'm not seeing pop up in the chat. I, I don't know what's going on. Um, Wizard <laughs> of Cause <laughs> is... Uh, it, no, I think they think that dolphins... Me. They're talking about dolphins. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. For them all the time. Wizard, Wizard is... Wait, can you do the whole uh, the whole voice acting thing? I want to hear your Magog of Morskar. Go. I don't even know what the fuck that Magog is. Magog of Morskar. What, what, what the hell are you talking? How do you okay. know? Right. Uh, you, here's, do a bear. Look, look, look. This is this is my very best wizard of cause, and and here's the deal. Is. As far as I know, um, uh. I, You're just I'm doing not a Wizard of Cause. Listen, listen, listen. If you want to do a Wizard of Cause, listen. you have to be very calculated about it. You have to be. You have um, to sound like a like precise. a telephonic cunt. You, you guys are, are no, missing no. one key key factor in your impersonation. You have to do that voice, but you got to show your testicles. 
Um, <laughs> and this is the Crowton tea. You must, uh, you had to put an English accent on them. They'll be very precise okay. and methodical. The Crowton tea is not sound necessarily, nothing like um, it sound British at all. No, Dude, uh, no, was it, no <laughs> it does it, not sound. You sound nothing like. Crowton. Wizard of Cause is this. Uh, Wizard of Cause has the best. Continental. Uh, Crowd tea impression. Jesus fucking Christ! Somehow we have people watching this. I know, right? <laughs> Sixteen of them. Uh, Futternutter, tell us about how you were raped as a child. Hey, I'm sober. I'm not fucking going into those stories quite yet. All oh, right, Schmeckle. <laughs> how often about do you beat your wife? Hang on, tell us. Tell us. Later. Listen, listen. Tell us how your daddy o five. Okay. <laughs> yes, Futter, you Dude. are. I, yeah, you had your kid on uh, last time. You're a parent. What do you think of the whole daddy of five thing? Um, I've only seen a couple short, short clips of him. I've, I'm trying to stay out of it because I have a feeling I would get fucking triggered and really pissed off at the guy. From what I saw, it wasn't pranks. It was just being a fucking cunt. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is being a cunt. That's why everyone fucking hates him. Yeah, I didn't actually see until uh, recently uh, the actual clips of him slamming the kid's head off of the off of the shelf. All right, motherfuckers, I'm sorry. But even that one. That, right. Just the screaming. I'm He's also trying I'm to play out, bitches. All right, well, thanks for coming on there, Politpod. Well, no problem. Uh, I'll see you soon. Bye. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Have a good one, man. Thanks for clearing a spot. No problem, man. Um, Do five has uh, yeah, been trying to play it off as. It's all fake, and all the kids came up with it. Yeah. Yeah. That kid so. Yeah. No. Yeah, no. He came up with three excuses, one after the other. The first one was, "Oh, dude, it's just a, it's just a prank." The second one was, "Uh, the, you know, this is what was it that it's uh." That that no one was hurt. That it was it was all staged. And then the last one is everything's fake. He's come up with so many excuses about very random things. Like basically, Maryland. They said that CPS had investigated them, and Maryland CPS actually said uh, we didn't know about the videos until now, so they were never investigated. They've lied about so much stuff that it's unreal. And if those kids are acting, they are oscar worthy actors all five of them because that yeah. i've no. i ended up watching a bunch of the videos because suit yourself put up um like a, he, he he put together a bunch of the videos just to show the worst parts yeah compilation and it's it, i don't even have kids and i wanted to drive to maryland and beat this guy's ass with a pipe yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I've, I've seen this kind of stuff before. It's, I mean, the, you see that kid, the, specifically the kid Cody that they tend to pick on the primarily. Um, and I and I think I mentioned this, Schmeckel and I were talking about it earlier. Um, th th this is, this kid is showing classic signs of somebody who's been abused all his life. And I listened to the interview with the, the birth mother. And I, I just got to say, man, everybody that that kid has to rely on is fucked up. Every single person yes. in that yeah. group. And it's really sad. I feel really bad for Cody. I think Cody needs a, a good home and a good family to take care of him. If he doesn't have a mental illness right now, I'm pretty sure his parents will give it to him later. Well, he does. Um, if if his birth mother, his birth mother provided medical records, and he he does have a few issues. Um, but yeah, the abuse is not helping, and also the dad. I mean, this is all hearsay from the mom. This this stuff's not proven. Honestly, uh, I don't think the mom's very reliable either. Listening to her, like just listening to her talk, yeah. and, like I, I'm not, I'm not on board with her. I'm sorry, I, you don't, not, you don't convey honesty to me. And I don't see any. I'm not, I'm not violence disorder in that kid. I see a lot of anxiety problems. Like he reminds me a lot of myself. Um, well, OD, ODD gets. ODD gets misdiagnosed a lot, especially in younger kids. There's actually like I know a couple of um, therapists because I I have issues, and um, they don't they the ones I go to would never diagnose a kid that young, but there are some psychiatrists who would. Um, but yeah, I see some stuff too, and I I'm not I'm not on team birth mother. I was kind of last night because I got very emotional, but. Um, you after... fell asleep on the fucking stream. Only at... Okay, I fell asleep on the stream at 4 a.m. 
<laughs> Which stream was, was it last night? Just, just to throw something in, in, in the, the idea pool, the best thing we can do for Cody right now is to stop talking about Daddy05 and specifically Cody. That kid really does need help, and the best thing we can do is stop just talking about it and let the authorities handle it. Because what we're doing, what we're doing right now, is we're turning that kid into a meme. Just like he, he is the meme of child abuse, and that's going to ruin him even further down the line. Stick we're, with him for years. That, that's that's true. Um, the, the authorities have already been contacted. We know they're investigating it, so we don't. Everyone needs to just stay out of it by this point. What kind of bothers me though is I grew up in a massively like abusive home my husband says cps was invented for kids like us and they don't fucking do anything the majority of the time when they no. come in your parents tell you what you're supposed to say they tell you how to say it they tell you how to make sure you don't get taken away and you answer the questions in the way you're supposed to and then they leave that's your it. guys it sounds like your guys' cps is quite different than ours yeah. yeah, yeah, it's I, fairly, fairly different. I'm on board with. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't know who was talking. Was that Amanda that was talking? Yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I'm right there on board with you. CPS was involved with my parents several times, and, um, and, and, and for very similar reasons. And it's just like she said, you know, that the parents will tell you, you, you know, like <laughs> these things that are happening to you. Yeah, they're terrible, but you have no idea what it's going to be like if they take you away. Was there video and, uh, evidence? That's such a was scary there video concept of the abuse that was happening. It doesn't matter. You tell the kids over and over again how bad it's going to be if they get taken away, and the kids will say what the parents tell them to say. I know. Well, I this, well, I'm not saying that because I don't. You know. At this point, it, it doesn't, doesn't even matter. Like, if the kids are sitting there trying to like to defend the parents, there's evidence of this shit happening. I'm going to interrupt here because, like, when everything that went on with me and my ex. It's always she, good when Futter interrupts. She had me <laughs> investigated, and what it was is they took the kids into a separate room with me not even around to question them. Yeah, they did that to us too, but that doesn't mean... Just because the parent isn't in the room, they think the kid forgets the parent exists. The child has object permanence. They know that when they come out of that room, what they said in that room is going to affect them. I like, remember I was there. I sat in the little fucking question room. I answered the way I was supposed. Yes, we have heat. Yes, we have running water. Of course. No, my mother's not on drugs. And it was all fucking bullshit. Well, I guess according to the social worker in my neck of the woods, they have if there's an investigation, they have to put something negative down. They don't really have a choice about it. And the worst thing that they could find to put down is my daughter knew how many drinks I had when I'd stopped drinking around her. What do you mean? That was the worst. Like, she knew the number of drinks before I stopped drinking. How the fuck did you know the number of drinks you'd <laughs> had before you stopped drinking? It was a low number. Not everybody's a schmeckle out there, all right? Oh, okay. Because I don't know how many I've had tonight. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of there with you. Yeah, my <laughs> if uh, my mother hadn't been drinking uh, earlier today, I'd ask her to come down. She. Uh, oh is a, no no no, Samaj Samaj. She is a Samaj, well. Hold on, she is a social worker. There. Get her the fuck down here. No no. See, well, no, I'm not. She won't do it. But Samaj, uh, I, she won't do it. Samaj, I can have, she. Schmeckle. You on. need, need to create her an account. Samaj's mom. I am a pretty 19-year-old <laughs> Filipino boy. <laughs> that, 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 won't, that won't get her on there. No, like, well, then I'll, tell her whatever she wants. I'm a she... haggard 48-year-old Scottish man. <laughs> tell her that he's a cunty girl. I am an American lady with all the qualities of a 48-year-old haggard I'm gonna Scottish man. I'm going to go back man. for... I'm gonna go to bat for Schmeck here, or for uh, for Samaj, and point out that the Samaj's mom may very well not have any idea what we're talking about, well, and it might take her too long to catch up. No, she doesn't know what you're talking about, but it's in her wheelhouse because she is a social worker, and she used to be one of those people who would go out on the field and would determine the criteria and how you would go about. It. Now she would give a Canadian perspective, uh, so Bring that her it would and oh, tell her it's called the bunny. No, she's probably asleep because well, it's 
We'll wake the cunt up. What the I'm fuck not... is she doing sleeping at this hour? Come on, she, she, she has work in the morning. Well, Some... fuck her. Well, fuck you. Hey, Samaj. Well, fuck you. Well, fuck you. Well, fuck you. Okay. Well, Samaj, so, okay. on, on another note... Fuck. We've come to this decision, right? On another note... I wouldn't mind talking to her if on a different hangout, like even an off-air one. Well, she might not even yeah, want to. I wouldn't to, mind but... talking to her in person, maybe in private. <laughs> well, I look closer <laughs> <laughs> than talk about, talk about being subtle there. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I'm. I also understand though what Satan's talking about because. Like, from that kid's point of view, I know the kid, he's not going to see it as a bad situation. The kid sees that as no. normal. So, the kid, to the kid, we are. We're fucking up his normal. We're fucking up his life. That's how he feels. Well, children measure their normality in life by the, the actions the parents take. Um, yeah. And, but they, they can also learn what not to do from, what, from the actions that their parents take. That's why, like, a lot of people assume that if your parents were abusive, you're going to be abusive. <sighs> Well, it could just as easily go in the opposite direction where they'll know what not to do. Exactly. Mm, exactly. So, I mean, I mean we, it's all well and good to... to th well, I mean, it's not really well and good, but I mean, like, it, we could assume that he might have a, a fucked up adulthood, but it's just as likely he won't. Yeah, I mean, I got... I, okay. I, 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 I look at it this way. I still actually agree parents, with what Satan was saying there. Like, it hurts parent, for me to say that. Parent, parents can be awful, and they can fuck up a kid, but... Nothing a parent can do is anything as fucked up and vile as some of the shit people on the internet can do. Not saying that it will happen, but the internet is a horrible fucking place, and I'm trying to make sure that kid doesn't turn into a meme. Doesn't turn into another Christian? Yeah. If he does become a meme, though, ability. it is the parent's fault. I don't they know how much ability you're going to have to stop that kid from turning into a meme, dude. I Honestly, I think that if half the people that knew about this had your mindset, that it still wouldn't stop anything. I think that kid has become a meme, and it's not his fault. It's not your fault. It's not my fault. It's Daddio's fault. That's what I was going to say. Like, he was a meme before we even got involved. That's how the parents got yeah. so popular. The, yeah. the, the parents made him a meme. He's a meme. There's like this. There's no turning back. It's a, you know, Santa Claus has been exposed. There's no going back to believing in him. He reminds me of me because he has anxiety. You can see it, and he lacks coping mechanisms for it. So he kind of flips out when he gets to the point that he can't I'll handle it. Here while we free. What? I beg your pardon. The kid's young as shit, and he's self-harming, and he's fucking playing with his poop. The kid is fucked up. Yeah, he, he, I mean, he, when he, I was he, little, I used to punch myself in the hell. stomach. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm there thing with you, Satan. Look, I feel for him, but like, there's nothing we can do to undo this. Like, it's been done. But I just want the kid to get some serious help that I didn't get, because... It was a long road to figuring shit out for myself to even discover that I had anxiety and to Thanks so much. learn how to handle it. Um, I don't want this kid to have to go through that by his self. It's a shit life. I want mm -hmm. him to get help and figure it out much younger. Yeah, and look, he may be upset right now at, at all the changes going on in his life, but you know, give him 10 years and, and ask him, you know, was was Philly D the best or worst thing that happened to you in your life? You might be shocked by the answer. Indeed. Yeah. Um, by the way, uh, hi, hey there, uh, Skeptic Lion. Uh, sorry I muted you there. You seem to be having mic issues. I just hit the, the mic button when you're ready to go. Unless, you know, you were masturbating with the mic on the cunt stream on purpose. <laughs> uh, which, by the way, oh, 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 no, we were hearing, uh, wondering why your video is not up. Fapping sounds. That was me. <laughs> and I wasn't <laughs> fapping. I have the missus here. She was doing it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Likely story. Tell them, cunt. Sure. <laughs> you heard. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm never completely convinced. Them. I never thought about that, though. I. 
I have given my husband head while he was playing video games before. I do know he has a channel where he streams his video games. I now have to oh, ask no, it. It, it will add to the views head. all the it will add so many views. One time the first time I said, Oh yeah, by the way, I've been getting head this whole stream. We got at least like four views. But that was one of the early <laughs> back then we only used to get like my view. <laughs> I've got He's... to ask him if he actually did stream me giving him head at any point. Good head. You, you'll have to tell us. Oh, he's not here yet. He's at work. When, when right, you find guys, out, you'll have to tell us. Call him on, on that night. Night, I think I'm going to call it a night. Ed. Well, thanks for coming on there, Dolphin. We're going to go smoke. Be right back. No problem, man. Hey, everybody, have a wonderful night. Don't beat your kids. And uh, yeah, go go love I'll somebody try. tonight. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, I don't know if I can support that. <clears throat> beat your kids. Just don't mentally fuck them up. <laughs> Like, you uh, I, 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 I entirely support beating children. Children are shit, but like, don't, don't, like, don't do the emotional fucking berating shit. That, that's what fucks kids up. Mm -hmm. All right, man. I'll see you guys later. Yeah. See, ya. Yeah, man. see ya. Bye. Get the client. How's it going? Is he hmm? us? Hi, yeah. how's it going? Greetings. Skeptic Samba. Samba. Minding a Samba. Sorry. Skeptic I don't think Simba. I've met Skeptic before. Mm. Simba's Swahili for lion. Are you Swahili? <laughs> mm? Are you Swahili? Mm. Swahili is not a race, it's a language. Okay. Then, then whatever race speaks <clears throat> that, that fucked up language, are you that? Nope. No. Then, then why the fuck does Simba meaning lion in Swahili Maybe fucking matter? Play outside, it's 11.30 at night. Because calling him Skeptic Lion still works. That's right. You can't play outside. No. It's 11.30 at night. He comes asking me, can I... That doesn't mean you're going to play outside. You still need to go to bed. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> My son came out. He wants to uh, go play outside. It's 11.30 at night. He's got a field trip tomorrow. Go uh, to bed. How old is he? Five. Oh, well, shit, Lord to be. <laughs> Apparently. Wait a minute. I had, I had my daughter on last stream as honor. Uh, I don't you know. Just if, awake in the house. Or was it off? Was it off air? Uh, I don't think it was last one. I think maybe it was the, the time before. You brought her on to talk about uh, women in yeah. doctors or something. Oh, okay, that was well, off air then, right? Here. No, that was on air. Oh, that was at the very start. We we put you on exactly at that time because it was uh, it, it, it was oh, a nice little story. That was just story. her audio. That was just her audio. I, I believe so. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because usually on air, it's one thing if she like walks behind my camera, but I try not to have her on camera. What is that? Off air, it depends who I'm around. Can I say hi. Is your little one there, Amanda? Hi. Hi, what's your Hi. name? Hi. Uh -uh, don't do that. Big boy, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Oh. He doesn't say his name. He just says hi. That's all he's allowed to say on the stream. Oh, I see. Gotcha. <laughs> he just likes to see who mommy's talking to. And then he'll say hi. Does mommy buy you presents? <laughs> He wants to know if mommy buys you things. Does mommy buy you things? No, I'm gonna watch them. You're gonna what? Go in the house. Is it a water bottle? Yeah, there's a water bottle. I gotta deal with him. Oh, I don't know what he's talking about. He's being wild. I I, I don't I don't know how I feel about this. Will Smith mm -hmm. is going to be the genie in the next live in the live action Aladdin movie. Uh, I already I was, already already it. Me. I was already sure. I was already not gonna see the movie, so I mean it doesn't doesn't affect me as in the slightest. Well that, have any that, of you guys seen the live action Beauty and the Beast? Yeah. I fucking have. awful. I haven't. Was it awful or was it's it good? Fucking terrible. 
It was it's not okay. even the same story. It's level like up. It like it all. It's amazing. Well, I don't know. It, it's it, it's kind of a mixed bag as far as I can tell. Um, it, some people really like it. Some people really don't <clears> like <throat> it. And uh, there's a large portion are like, meh. Yeah, I'm a meh. I haven't seen it, so I don't know anything about it. I was going to, but it sold out. So then I, f- I saw the far superior movie of uh, Kong Skull Island. That is a good movie. <laughs> but um, no, I, I I will say I wasn't. They added two new songs, and they both fucking suck. <laughs> That's the only thing. So is it more like a a scene, a shot for shot remake of the animated movie? Pretty much. That sounds really uh, lazy. They they added in some like um, extra stuff behind like the prince's background, and the enchantress actually has kind of a heart in it. And they added stuff about Belle's mom, but like the same story is basically the same. the The only thing I liked is that um, is that whenever the last petal fell, instead of just in the in an in the animated movie where it's kind of ambiguous as to what happens to the servants, whether they get, uh, they have to stay with as they are forever. They actually kind of die in the live action. Um, really? Yeah, because they essentially when the as when the last petal falls, they turn into um, whatever they are, whatever they were turned into. But they won't be able to speak anymore, or see, or do, or move, or do anything. They just become those items. That's terrible. Um, yeah. My kid's throwing too big a fit and trying not to sleep, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, drop on out. But thanks for having me, y'all. Bye-bye. Nice talking to you again there, Amanda. Time. You didn't even have to beg. I know, right? I told you I wouldn't beg. <laughs> we are certainly being uh, generous tonight. I know. We... Who else is in the side chat? Oh, let's see. We even let uh, Polypod on without making him beg. Oh, he. I figure we'll make him beg for the big ones. Oh, okay. But unless he bring, unless he brings on big guests, is that it? Exactly. If he wants to bring someone big, we'll let him on, and all he has to do is say, "Please, Master Schmeckle, let me on." Otherwise, he has to really beg for it. And give sec. And we'll just keep the big guy. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. As soon as he gets in, he's kicked out. Sounds good. <laughs> so what else has been going on? A, a drama into the world? Has World War Three started yet? Almost. No. I, I got... I'm, getting, I'm getting to it. Uh, well, I... you know, I wouldn't mind talking about the... Uh... Tao shit some more because I'm still pretty pissed about that. I see. I see that you're trying to lure him on, which I think is freaking hilarious. Wait, what? Uh, which shit? Yeah, I, I am because what he's doing is well beyond the fucking line. Yeah, I mean, what he's doing is completely fucked up. Like he's, from what I've seen of him, he's. A very, very insecure person. Oh, he had somebody Mick-Tow. rattle him beyond what he could handle. <clears throat> and now he's lashing out. He, yeah. He's like a fucking child. Mm-hmm. Well, and, and, you know what? Um, I just went over... Uh, I forget whose stream it was yesterday. Because I guess Angry MGTOW took out part of your live stream... Yeah, and did like the picking on me kind of thing. So fucking disingenuous about it because I watched that live stream Sunday morning when I woke up, and Hello. he essentially Hi. only started as soon as Jeff came on, and he left out the five minutes prior where he was like, "Yeah, no, I said this, I said that," and then in his response, he's like, "I didn't say any of this." You're taking a clip out of the exact stream. <clears throat> is disingenuous and 
I was actually a little bit pissed. Yeah, I, no, it was ridiculous. He was sitting there and saying, oh, uh, no, this is what actually happened. And it's like, no, we actually, like, you just played for us what ha what actually happened. Like, you played it for us verbatim. You didn't even try to hide the fact that you're bullshitting. Yeah, but on his stream, he took the part where he played it out to you. Like, how he kind of described what went on his side of the story as much as he could. And then Jeff but, came on, and then it was a different story. No, I, I will give him, he did not cut that much out of it. The beginning he did. He the cut out at the Jeff very end, off. where there was the long silence before he dropped out. Mm. And then he dropped, and he cut out the part before Jeff showed up where he was trying to justify himself and we were arguing with him. Yeah, that's the part where I was like, wow, you just cut that out. But Well, I can see why he would do that. Uh, as much as I think the guy's a piece of shit, the video was against Jeff, right? So it mm. makes sense that it would only include uh, the parts with I Jeff. It, like, I didn't watch the entire thing of his... And I didn't watch the entire thing of yours. I just kind of watched from two and a half hours until just before I think Jeff left or whatever. Like it, well, I would fucking hope you didn't watch the whole fucking thing. It was six hours. <laughs> <laughs> Mother of the last stream? I've watched it. All of it. Pretty good. Six hours. Yeah, I know. You need to get a life. <laughs> and this is me saying this. Yeah. Or you you're there, you work from home, I mean, and you have lots of free time. Well, I start my job in a week, so, <clears throat> no. Okay, that makes sense. But Jesus Christ, six hours sitting listening <laughs> to us. Yeah, I know. It's pretty fun. Because, I mean, they were only there for a short amount of time. Like and he was only there for a little while. And I'm happy Most to be to a feather stream to us. Go on and on. Oh, and is, it, is this is this a failure stream with Keemstar and everybody that, that I got an invite to and didn't realize until I, after I woke up? No, that was last night. This was the um, MGTOW from Saturday, and then Jeff and Jeff showed up. <laughs> oh, hold on. Like, yeah, no, I, I I knew about all this stuff. Which stream was this though? Last last weekend's cunt stream. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind. You 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 never mind. Never the mind. one cunt stream that I didn't ask to come on or. Watch or anything. Wait, was this well, after I'm sorry, past a certain point? Nobody had a chance of getting on. Was this after <laughs> I ducked out of the stream? Uh, probably. Uh, yeah. if, you, if you don't recall it and you weren't there, uh, and yes, it was an no, interesting so, stream, to say the least. I I I, I saw the but notification everything after really about like up around like the three and a half hour mark. I was ready to close everything down. And then shit picked up. Oh, because the Jeff or Angry MGTOW came on right almost at two and a half hours. Mm hmm. And I only watched probably 25 minutes, half hour of that. And it picked up again at okay. like 3 30 yeah, in the morning. It must have gone long for uh, Andy then, not for when. Uh when Jeff showed up. Andy was on? Yeah, briefly. Yeah, near the end, we had uh, Andy Worski. Uh, Fuck. Everybody else gets him, gets him half drunk. We <laughs> got him half drunk and half passed out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the what? Who... Um, is threatening with CPS. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you don't do that unless it's real. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's plenty of upset people out there right now at Angry Mintel and it's very um yeah, very deserved. By the way, uh, skeptic line, the reason why the reason why we keep muting you is you have a lot of background noise. Oh sorry, and I yeah, okay, it, yeah. It, and then when you move around your microphone rubs against stuff and we hear yeah. every 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 bit of that right, so i guess you. if you're not when, when you're ready to talk just uh, unmute yourself if that's possible all right all right thanks a lot man sorry about that uh, that's all right 
Indeed. Hey, He's this is why sorry. we have Samaj. Samaj is the nice one of Shit. the cunt stream hosts. Uh, Schmeckle's the alcoholic and I'm the bastard. Uh, I thought I was the nice one. I, I think it depends. Fuck no. You're the potato one. I, I think it tends to depend on how much alcohol we've consumed. I mean, I'm pretty. Uh, I might be a bit of an asshole when I'm pretty drunk. Last time I didn't really get that drunk, so. There is well, uh, no how much alcohol I've consumed. The amount is always a lot. And that's the best measurement I can give you. Well, uh, encountered actually... all three of you guys in asshole mo mode, and all three of you guys in nice mode. Just wait, 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 wait! When have I ever been in asshole mode? I always try to be extremely pleasant, cunt. <laughs> um, okay. I don't want to interrupt, but I, mean, I have a lot to say about what happens when somebody plays around with child protective services. It, yes, it I would like to hear them. I would and like to stay on the whole fuck angry MGTOW thing. Because wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm curious. My um, son's before we go on to this subject, I have a quick question. When uh -huh. the fuck was I in nice mode? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, Lords. Wrath, there was that one time you told Fudder that uh, he wasn't too drunk that one night when he asked if he was too drunk. Uh, I think that's a compliment as far as he's concerned. I'll be oh, right back. Son of a bitch, I'm getting soft. <laughs> There's been times I've asked whether I was drunk. Hey there, Dingo, how's it uh, going? You've many, many times hey, asked if you were too oh, drunk. Oh, all right. Enjoying all this free time I have now since I can't post anything. <laughs> oh, we got Danny the Dingo who can't make a fucking video because, uh, what was it? Fuck Islam and what was the other one? The other one was, um, fuck, what was it? Biological sex is not a social construct. It was a, a response to Riley Dennis. Jesus wow. fucking Christ. You have you know, a <laughs> the, I appealed them both. Literally, the one that was a response to Riley Dennis, they rejected it within two hours. I like really? how, according to YouTube, science is bullying. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Oh, man. Watch out, guys. You got a bully you know what, on the screen. You know what, Danny? You got a badass over here. You still have the video. I posted it on Minds. I've, I've um, put a link to it on Twitter. I posted it on VidMe. Okay, excellent. Go got it up. I was gonna say, oh. play it on the fucking cunt stream. I was gonna say we don't give a fuck. Yeah. I mean, we we oh, have yeah, Blizzard balls on the formal night. show. <laughs> that was a good stream. It's been your only good stream, but that was a good. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Last week was better. Yeah, last week was pretty good, actually. Like. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you I, was on the, I was on the other one, so that I, I wasn't on the one last week, so I don't care about that. That's why last week was better. <laughs> <laughs> well, then we just had, like, the random Jeff Holiday invasion, you know, just like Angry MGTOW had on his channel, but we enjoyed the invasion. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when well, MGTOWs come in streams. Well, does anybody know if anything ever came of his uh, false reports? <clears throat> Uh, um, well, I haven't uh, talked to Jeff and Mem since Jeff Saturday. Is, uh, I mean, Sunday. I, I know that Jeff isn't talking about any shit right now. Which... And they've, they've been kind of quiet. I mean, I, I doubt they're going to get in any trouble, but I'm sure they're working on something. Yeah, I don't know if anything's come of the reports or anything, but I know that they're, they're not getting involved. Uh, I'm sure they don't care if anyone else uh, comments on it, but... Yeah, when I was in the uh, middle of like all that, I kept to, my head down. They're just trying I to didn't... play the safe side, right? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I, mean... I didn't say anything to anybody until I got out of the situation. Well, yeah, I mean, the thing is, is uh, anytime you have to involve a lawyer, which we can speculate all we want, but I'm not going to go into that uh, myself. Uh, the best thing you can do is tell no one but your lawyer anything. Like... I've, no, uh, they, I've, I've had they, friends that told me uh, after their cases were resolved that they were not mm -hmm. to tell their wife about it. And it wasn't a divorce either. It would, they were pressing charges against someone who had 
uh, like their insurance had screwed them over or something like that. Uh, and he, he wasn't even supposed to tell his wife about what was going on with the case. Like, literally, no one should know besides the lawyer and the person involved with the lawyer. Yeah, like, like um, one of my teachers is a medical examiner, and he has gotten permission to tell us about some criminal cases he's working on. But I can't talk about them outside of the class. Like, it's it's mm. kind of like that, in a sense. I'm kind of surprised that he even got got clearance to tell his class, to be honest. I mean, I don't I don't know that much about the format of the class and whatnot, but I would, as if I were in that situ- in his situation, I wouldn't tell you guys uh, anything. Even if I were allowed to, I wouldn't. Just because... He, yep. it, it's for education purposes, and we are a very small class, and... Um, oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, this is a PhD program, and we're, it, the class is, is is seven people. Why doesn't he just talk okay, about well, that makes more sense. previous cases that are done? Because he, it, it has to do with, um, I can't really talk about it, but it has to do a topic with... topic you're covering. Yeah, mm-hmm. a very interesting DNA situation, and he was getting our opinions on it because he didn't really understand what was going on. It has to do with new technology and different... De- it's a long story, but that was why he had brought it up. Um, and well, he's very, the dialogue... He's, sorry, go ahead. He, he's very careful in that he doesn't use people's names. He only gives us information that we need to know the scenario that we're talking about. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, he has to talk to the judge and say, can I bring this up with my class? Oh my and God. the judge usually agrees to it. Well, and the thing is, is the dialogue between a doctoral student... Who's echoing? It sounds like you. Um, <laughs> I'm hearing other people. I'm hearing my voice echo in someone else's mic. I got. Like, a I'm on a headset. I'm on a headset. Same here. The echo's gone. But anyway, Hi, like I don't know how I could possibly be echoing yeah. because I'm on headphones. Uh, it's been happening on other streams there, Wrath. Okay. Like a hangout, but you'll echo for a second. Okay, but anyway, um, my understanding is the dialogue between a professor and a doctoral candidate is very different from the dialogue between a professor and, say, an undergrad student. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Plus, you don't um, want to give child protective service workers, the social workers, any extra fuel because yeah. they are very well known to go up there and twist things on you. They lie. Well, lie. I mean, their their the job is, their job is to err on the side of protecting the child. So I'm not sure that. Some of them. Some well, of them. I mean, I think the majority of them. I mean, I. Yeah, I'm thinking the, the, the majority of them are who made to... up all kinds of things about my son that were not remotely true. There is another motivation that's well known with anybody who's ever been like brought into the system. That yes, there is there is a part. There's a lot of caseworkers who are trying to protect children, but then there's there's another side where they take children who don't need to be taken, and it has a lot to do with money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with I that, that, see. I don't know that system nearly as well as you do, apparently. I don't know. My ex had me get my kid back because my son, his father, I kicked him out of the house. And then three months later, I get this report that he had told um, child welfare that I wasn't taking care of my son medically. Oh, um, God. I had, had my son circumcised. That was one of the things that they, they berated me on the stand about was that I didn't get him circumcised. Um, really? That you didn't have him circumcised? That I mean, you didn't do an unnecessary medical procedure? Hmm, see, yeah. I could see them I, coming I after you if you... You're a garbage mother. You didn't mutilate your kid? Fuck you. Yeah, I was going to say, you don't live in Saudi Arabia, do you? Don't you know <laughs> doctors live solely on the scrotums of young boys? No, I thought, I thought quite a lot of shit about not No, no, no. No, pediatricians live on the scrotums of young boys. All other doctors live on the prescriptions that they sell. No, I, I'm <laughs> sorry. I can't let this go. Mm, pills. Fuck, you did not get your son circumcised. I got my fucking daughter circumcised. <laughs> That's how serious I am about this shit. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. So you had a son and now you have a daughter? Wait, wait. So is your, is your daughter Riley Dennis? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're talking about a chick with a dick hand. I'm trying to figure this out. 
Riley calls me daddy. That's all you need to know. <laughs> that, oh, is, that is disturbing on, on more levels than I, I, did, I, I knew existed. That explains, <laughs> yes, the, that explains uh, the view count on your video about him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that child welfare worker stood on the stand and said that my son man. was an appreciating nice and that my son had um, thyroid disease, which he does not have. And it, it was just ridiculous, which is why it, it, it better be a real abuse situation before you go around like threatening people with CPS. Mm -hmm. And even well, if, even if like, let's say it's it's actually like an ethical CPS person, they do exist. Um, yes. it, you're wasting that person's time, and there's a kid out there who could use that that CPS worker. But the worst oh, thing, yeah, I mean, that I he he is entirely right. If there are allegations that somebody is smoking pot with their kid in the room where they can inhale the fumes. Certainly, CPS should be involved, but he's fucking admitted that these allegations came from the depths of his own fucking brain. Yeah. Which I'm he's as much as admitted, hey, I made this up, but they should still investigate it because allegations have been made. Yeah. Well, I was, I was, I was accused of watching uh, pornography on my computer. That was one of the accusations that were filed against me to take my son away. What the oh, fuck? fuck. So Where the hell do you didn't live? Didn't mutilate him, and sometimes oh, you watch porn. Jesus yeah, Christ. Not only should you be taken, crime. we should probably fuck? stone you to death. Was your CPS officer the Alabama nigger? <laughs> like, <laughs> what the <laughs> No, no, I'm pretty... No, 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 guys, I know the answer. Her CPS officer is literally the Florida man. <laughs> <laughs> Florida man. Florida Some man. Some CPS workers are so bad that when I was court ordered to domestic abuse therapy, there are ladies in there who will tell you they would rather deal with their abusive spouses and get beat by their husband. Damn. Stay in there. Well, like, holy damn. <laughs> what? Yeah, it yes. sounds like you're in a really shitty CPS area. I mean, but well, let's be real. A lot of the a lot of the um help programs that they use um for different <clears throat> legal matters in the US are pretty screwy. Like when I was when I was in um in counseling for my my DUI, which everyone knows about. Like, I'm not shy about it. I don't care who knows. My boss knows. We joke about it. Um, <clears throat> when I was when I had to do the mandatory counseling crap for that, it was it was all a group. It was never one on one. A um, <clears throat> couple of guys in my class said they'd rather do the jail time than come back. Damn. Well, what I was gonna say to Polly was when I've had CPS called on me by my ex. And I got an actual in-depth investigation once, a partial one another time, and mm -hmm. every other time that I've had it called in my neighborhood, the like district supervisor calls me up. He's like, oh, yeah, anything different? No. Okay, well, I'm supposed to investigate you. We'll close this. Well, it's kind of a crapshoot whether or not we follow through with investigating. And I can complain about how, like, horrible it was for me, but that has nothing on what it did to my kid. Now, my son was four years old, was nonverbal, he just was, he didn't start talking until after he was four, that was blamed on me, which, is, I mean, later on we found out that he's on the autism spectrum, but he was taken away at four years old, put in a home with people he didn't know, within uh, less than a year, he was so disturbed from being ripped away from him. I was the only person he ever knew. We were always together. Right away from me, taking the strangers, they had him in a psychiatric ward. A My God. Ward. Jesus. So, yes. guys, am I the only one that's having a hard time hearing Paul? Because I can hear no, the rest of you just fine. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm probably having a hard time, too. Better. We knew he's, all the words. He's very hard to hear. Lizzie, you're kind of coming in and out. Like, you'll sound right. really good. 
or a few words, and then you'll sound your like you're way too far from your mic, and then you'll sound it's good. It's like you've got a phaser far. on, or like you're yeah. using a cell phone headset. Is that any better? Yeah, that's a little better. <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, all right, so they have my son, and he's clearly distressed because you know they took him away. They decided that he had um, schizophrenia, which is crazy. Nuts. Yeah, they're they're not. I mean, I'm not. I don't study psychiatry, but I I suffer from chronic depression and anxiety, and so I go see a therapist. And we were talking about this one day, not with a specific client, um, because this came up for some reason. It's there's a there's a huge amount of psychiatrists who do not like to diagnose kids with bipolar or schizophrenia unless they absolutely have to because it's so unreliable. So that's yeah, bullshit. At, at, at five years old, it's it's pretty much impossible. Yeah, so it's bullshit. And, and, um, although uh, sometimes that can be harmful that they don't diagnose that. children, because uh, I had a friend who was untreated schizophrenic until she was twenty, because um, she thought she was schizophrenic uh, when she was about fourteen or so, and her parents didn't take it seriously. They finally took her to see a pedi like a pediatric psychologist or whatever when she was about 16 I think 16 or 17 and again <clears throat> they thought she was just had an overactive imagination because she has ADD and when she was 20 and been living away for a few years she paid out of pocket to go see a psychiatrist and I was like yeah you're definitely schizophrenic like it's not a question but see like, when you you're, when you're... you have the majority of the markers like whatever the criteria is, it's like four or five or something, or whatever. She had double the, the required criteria. But see, for the for schizophrenia, the symptoms, um, I guess you call them <laughs> symptoms, but the markers don't usually appear until you are a teenager, young adult. So a five-year-old is unbelievably young to diagnose Oh, that. yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm well, not saying know, that they should have diagnosed her five-year-old. That's ridiculous. But, like, if a teen is showing the markers then you should probably get that you should probably look into that and see and have them see a professional. Agreed. <laughs> they said that my son was interacting with stimuli that nobody else could see. Those are their exact words. Interacting with stimuli that nobody else can see. Okay, have, okay, have, your kid's five, so imaginary <laughs> friends are a thing at that age. Yeah, I'm like have they ever heard of imaginary I had an imaginary friend. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, I think most of our generation and previous generations did at that age. Yeah. yeah. My kid speaks to nothing all the time. <laughs> my my brother is uh, if she's schizophrenic or just fucking with me. Um, <laughs> so I, well, considering it's you, Schmeckel, she's if she's anything you. like you, she's fucking with you. But yeah, it no, could be I, that I you're possessed. Might just be. <laughs> A one and a half year old cunt. Satan, have you been talking to her? Talking to him? Talking to the kids? No. <laughs> All right. See, that's good enough for me. Christ, you think I'd let a guy that looks like that near my fucking kid? You have you, something against Ben Savage? You well, don't think I look like well, I look like you, but less hair. So what if so what if I talk to the kid well, through telepathy? I mean, <laughs> the best thing to ask is, do you have any crosses in the houses, and are they right side up? If not, you might have a problem. <laughs> hey, hey, you know what? I did that once. It's a practical joke, and I said I was sorry. <laughs> <laughs> For context, hey, he's talking about child rape. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, don't, 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 I, I, I made a pentagram yeah, out of the crosses in Schmeckel's house because I was bored. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, what's up there, fire? <laughs> Thanks for having me on. Oh, I gotta get to bed. I work in the morning. All right, I'll message you on Twitter. Hey. Thanks for leaving, cunt. All right, thanks. Bye, Topanga. Bye. <laughs> See ya. Nice having you go. <laughs> there we go. Hey, Aussie cunt in the chat. There's room now. Which Aussie cunt? Uh, Lotus Wolf, like the lesser. Lotus Wolf. Lotus oh, Wolf. oh, oh, budget, budget Peach Aussie. Bailey. Yes, Lotus. <laughs> Uh, a lotus wolf, like nice, nice chamber. <laughs> lotus. 
<laughs> and now with that whole uh, daddy of five thing, no, that's a different story. Oh my, oh my oh god. Oh god. Okay. After talking no, about that with Keemstar, I, I don't want to talk about it again. Was asking for it. Um. He yeah, was poor. sitting there off camera. What you don't see is he's tapping his face and going, "Hit me, bitch! Hit me! Come on, throw no me! Balls, you won't you hit think me. you can throw me into something? I'm a fight, you cunt!" And then he pulled out a knife, and you don't poor, see any of that. Poor I believe knife. I'm pretty sure he pulled out a machine gun. I'm pretty sure he pulled out like a big ass machine gun, like bigger than him, came out of his yeah, diaper. No, he was like, he was, <laughs> was fully threatening. It it was Daddy of Five had no choice. He had to throw him against the bookshelf. It was the only way. It was out of fear. Well, you know, yeah, our there's kids are freaking monsters. Poor fucking Raph. He was on the. How long were you on the stream with Keemstar? Because I I I fell um, asleep. Which time? Uh, Keemstar came back. After he no, left the first time. No, no, no. I saw, I saw him both times because he, he got, he got, um, he had a bitch fit and left the first time, and then he came back. Dude, okay, so, I was um, if I were to es if I, if I were to estimate the total keem exposure that I, that I suffered, which is worse than radiation, let's be real. Um, <laughs> uh, I probably got about two hours worth or so. Now the thing is, is. I didn't think he was entirely wrong. I just think his assertion based on the, the information was wrong. But have you seen his update? Um, no. I don't I don't follow Kingstar. I barely have time to follow the people I like. I know, same here. He changed his yeah, mind. He, yeah, he, he, he changed his mind. Says that he, should, he should be investigated by CPS. See, oh. that's the thing. is, I wanted, I wanted the investigation, but I wasn't going to make an assertion without further data. That was my whole point in that stream on that topic was uh, I'm not going to assert that I know that there's child abuse because with how much money they make, it could all be like propped up and shit like that. Like, but I don't know. And I do think that there's enough suggestive evidence that there should be an investigation. That's, that's where I landed on the whole thing. Granted, I've only seen videos about it i haven't seen any of his of daddy o5's actual actual videos i've only seen what serious? people cut up and showed dude if you go into my channel and uh, there's a mirrored of uh, the tablet prank and then there's uh the ink prank i covered i don't cut it up i literally do like my little screen on top of the other one and then um oh there's another one that I gave to someone. It was a water bottle prank or whatnot. Where oh, is that the one where he where the other kid slaps the girl across the face? Yeah, and Cody defends it. Uh, now here's, defends, here's the and, thing, uh, Chambers. The, the, I am the, the subscribed to you. I'm pretty sure, but bad. like I, what, what I am subscribed. Is... Let me finish, please. Um, <laughs> but like I think I'm up to last Wednesday with my watch later. Like. What people uploaded last Wednesday oh, shit. is where I'm at with my watch later right now. Like because between work and trying to make my own videos, and I still haven't finished the video that I started on fucking Saturday. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> I just haven't been able to keep up with people. <clears throat> but like half of my watch later is people talking about Daddy of Five. Yeah. No, and I understand it's a hard topic. The reason why I'm involved, like, at all is because the mom was trying to reach out to the bigger channels, and because i still a small channel and was even smaller, um, I saw it in my comment section, and I thought at first it was a joke until I followed the link to a video, and then I shared my personal information with her, so we talked on the phone, I verified it through her Facebook, and so that is why I'm involved, because she doesn't know how to internet very well, and then... Liz or somebody was having a live stream with the mat, the muses of a mad woman, and I jumped in there going, "Hey guys, look who I found! Look who's got on my channel!" So and it just went poof from there. So Jesus, See, and, I, I still don't, I still don't know. I don't know if it's a good idea for me to talk about the Daddy O Five issue on my channel because so many people have already. And I don't have the time to do adequate research like Based Mama has, as, as an example. Like, she's put a lot of time into researching that shit. I don't have time to even review the data she has. 
you know that's you know that's okay it's just the fact that people are either mirroring the videos like and share and they get the word out no not everybody has to talk about it but everyone is sharing the videos retweeting i mean that's what a lot of people have been doing you don't have to make a video well i'm i'm scared to on, share i'm scared to share other people's videos without reviewing that video and reviewing the evidence that the video is based on <laughs> because what if they're wrong now i'm wrong because i shared their their message I would really suggest like looking at what um, Suit Yourself has done because he's compiled oh. really like, thorough and like mm -hmm. uh, condensed um, like videos that like, are really. I might have to check that out. Um, I think he's pretty close to coming up on my next video for my watch litter because he he was really quick to to talk about it, and if he's done a lot of research and compiled and condensed the information. Then yeah. I'll have to look into that and possibly mirror that, depending uh, on how I feel about his takeaway. Really, I basically mean, I just quit. It's is the best um, place to go right now. I mean, no offense to anybody else. Just, no, no, Sue right has now. done the work. Yeah, he, he's basically got all the important clips back to back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll check it out later. But uh, I just. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know. If you, it, if you don't want to make, like, a, sorry, go ahead. If you don't want to make a video, I mean, at this point, realistically, we've done all we can do. The 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 CPS has basically said they're investigating it. Um, you know, if it's if the legal system gets involved, they have to do their jobs, and we can't do anything beyond that. Yeah, that's part, that's the other reason that I was kind of feeling like I don't I don't really need to make a video making a stand because. The, really the have reports have been that. made. The investigation's been launched. There's nothing I can do to help in any real way. Like, the only thing I would help is my view count by talking about it on my channel. Yeah. yeah. And even that, I think it's kind of it's kind of moving towards dead horse in a rapid fashion because so many people have talked about it. Yeah. Yeah. This is that's like one of the the only topic that I've really made a video on since I've been able, unable to upload, and I just put it up on mine just because it hit a little clo too close to home for me to, for me to not make a video on it. But I don't plan on touching it again. Oh, you see, I don't yeah, have the background I... with it that other okay. people have, so that's the other reason I didn't want to touch it is because a little too forcibly logical in situations I'm not familiar or versed with. And I don't want to piss a bunch of people off or hurt their feelings. I know that sounds against how we act, but I, like, I'm pretty sure I pissed Base Mama off last night, for example. I mean, I, I personally am not making a video because, one, I don't have the time. April is a terrible month for, for my PhD student life. Um, mm -hmm. And secondly, is that I, when it comes to things involving kids, even though I don't have kids, I'm super maternal and I get super emotional and I don't think I can make an unbiased video um, using logic because every time I see the video of the kids, I, I get nauseous and I get, you know, just sad. Well, angry. then yeah. um, do what my I video, my video, video was completely biased. I was screaming get out. angry and yell. Yeah, yeah, so my do what Snackle did about angry and tell. Screaming at them for a good 12 minutes. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus oh yeah! Christ. Have you kind of seen that third angry MGTOW video? No. I saw uh, that, I was, and it, it makes me really mad because I have to rewrite some of my scripting those now. Those are real fucking dick pumping sounds. What? See, uh, my name is Angry <clears throat> McClown. <laughs> See, what makes me mad, Schmeckle, is I have to rewrite part of my script about that for that topic now, with the information that I gained from you sharing that clip of Angry MGTOW. At the very end of the third one. <laughs> hey there, Red Robot. Now I have to rewrite part of my script. God damn it. No, but th those sounds, that was actual dick out, waving it around in front of the fucking microphone just for angry MGTOW. Oh, I mean, that's that <laughs> someone got laid. Uh, that's his how, uh, <laughs> or someone got some that's action, how even much if it's I got off on his fucking butt hurt. And how much his butt hurt because I got off. When I first heard You're it, MGTOW, it actually made sense. But now it just seems like there's a lot of MGTOWs that are like almost literally like feminists, 
except, you know, they're men. Yeah, well, from I what was... I understand, it started off as just guys like, no, nah, fuck, we don't need women, we're going to do our own thing. And now it's like some weird cult type cult. thing. Dude, I can testify to that. Uh, I can testify to that because I went on a live stream with the turd flinging monkey, and then he. Oh, why uh, did you do that? <laughs> why? Because, well, no, because one of his videos caught my attention, and so I tried to get on the show, and I did. And so his big thing is same thing as Anger Big Cow: sex robots are going to replace women. And he thought he red pilled me because he took my words and twisted it, saying, "Oh, well, I said that." Uh, women shouldn't have rights at all. I'm like, no, no, no. That's not what I said, dude. I said anybody who's a contributor to the country shouldn't have a right to vote. Um, no, he and his followers, they, he's got some fucking toxic buggers, but it's so fucking easy to troll them. It really no, is. they act just like feminists. And, and you must, yeah. uh, one You cannot know. make a feminist happy. It's, yeah. it's impossible. As, as a robot, I got to point something out. You got to remember... Robots do the job that nobody else wants to do. So sure, they'll get those sex robots because nobody else is going to. Yeah, now get do over them. here and take my yeah. free dingo cocky damn robot. You dang sex robot. Hey, the sex robot character hasn't quite been put together yet, so uh, uh, give me time. No, I, I, I have a, I have a nickname amongst the MGTOW community. <laughs> I, I guess like a whole group of them call me Danny the Dipshit. Okay. Wow. Because yeah, I've know. I've I've gone at just about every single one of them, and I've gotten a response out of all of them. I think I think except for Traversable, mm -hmm. and um, the fuck's his name, Grizzly Migtow. Huh. In my opinion, they're all fucking crazy. I just they really those, those are. are fucking Migtow. Am the I the only Migtow one that hears hate. the name Grizzly Migtow and just thinks like a big hairy gay guy? <laughs> the ones or that now, when I think Migtow, are crazy, when yes. I think Migtow, I think the He Man Woman Haters Club from um, Little Rascals. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of that going in there. Uh, it's kind of like vegans. Yeah. There, there are people that are that are like, you know, I don't want to eat meat, but don't bother to tell you about it because it, they figure it's on your, it, you, you're you're not interested in, it and they got no business. They're not interested in pushing it. But the vegans are like, hey, by the way, I'm a vegan. Yeah. That's what those mid tower like. They're they're like the, they're they're like the uh, the over enthusiastic I've, vegans. Oh, they just they try to act like all big and bad. Like I've done a video on Angry Mid Tower's video. Um, I've done a video which is on Call Grinder, not Call Grinder's channel. I did a video on the turd flinging monkey. Um, in regards to the sex robots, they're just they're fu they're fucking crazy. I mean. Uh, and if if you go through the comment section, they some people talk about beating women up. I mean, oh, it's just like your guys' audience is toxic. That attitudes that actually lead to domestic violence. So wait, way to wait, go! Are you saying we shouldn't beat women up. Yes, <laughs> wait, wait, I was gonna say, hold on a second. Now. Right. I, I thought I, I thought well, I just heard back what you were doing, Mrs. <laughs> thought I just heard someone snoring. Yeah, I heard that. Oh. I heard Who that. Just popped in the who just popped in the stream? Or oh, Rath, okay. Your mother. Okay, he just removed his picture. Okay. Yeah. That's what I was to it's out. Mr. Mr. Fisto. But um, but yeah, I like I wish he still had his avatar up. I, I've Probably. met I've met a few McTowns who actually aren't insane. Just like I've met a few feminists who aren't insane. But like the first time I was introduced to MGTOW, it was from a guy who was talking about like pumping and dumping chicks. And I'm like, you do you really oh want my that? God. Oh, are you talking about the mayor of MGTOWN? Yes. Oh my god, I've seen that video. You know, and you know they are the most dumbest ones of the bunch because it's like you guys get it, you guys get stuck in child support lawsuits. You fucked hards. Sorry, I, I just I saw that video and I just went, you guys are stupid. And, and and in my in my younger my younger teen days, younger adult days, I used to be an SJW, pretty what we would call SJWs, that's what I was. Um and so I have friends who are the female version of MGTOW, and I mean they're just so fucked up. And I'm just I'd like I believe they're called Big Tow. Bitches going their own way. Yeah. <laughs> or, uh, I thought those were I thought those were political lesbians. <sighs> yeah, it could uh, those be are still feminists. It, it could be either one, and it's just like it's just it's just like they're, they're people who 
are just so cancerous. They can't even get people to want to be with them enough to get laid unless they hire them. It's honestly <laughs> yeah. how I see them. And 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 I'm I you know I have problems dating, and I'm like I've gotten more dates than half these people. <laughs> I mean, I it's not that I have problems dating; it's that I'm kind of culturally MGTOW, but I don't prescribe the label. You're not MGTOW by by choice, cunt. Be honest. <laughs> no, I actually had a girl ask me out on a date uh, two weeks ago. Um, uh-huh. And I we just couldn't make schedules work and he said uh, no. because literally so, uh, the time how wet she did you get your dick. Hmm. How wet did you get your dick? We I just said we couldn't make schedules work out. We ne- it didn't end up happening. I said so she asked me. Not she took me. You know Schmeckel doesn't listen. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm sure he would pay attention if he could afford to. Is, is someone snoring? Yeah, I can hear that too. It's not is me. It clean? It's probably just somebody I mean, being a jackass. I'm an old man, but I'm not snoring yet. Um, I, I think that I think that might be the missus gagging on Schmeckle. Oh, <laughs> there's a uh, good chance that's what you were hearing. Satan speak. Oh, it's totally it's Satan. Satan. Yep. God oh, he's 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 oh fuck! I have to do, don't I? Satan, you never it's go full you. Jason. All right, never go full Jason. So I can lean forward. <laughs> Satan, wake up! Give him wake five more up. minutes. As All for right, anyone there, in, minutes. All right, as oh, for the, the countdown, as for everyone the spam his DMs. Uh, as for the guys, in the, as for the guys in the chats, if you want to come in, j- j- now's your time to beg. <laughs> uh, remember, they have to beg while they're on air. Well, that kind of gets them on air already, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> once just... they're on, they have to beg out loud and they get booted. <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. The people in the chat aren't politopod. They can just beg in the chat. Oh, and I can our, our, our background music is just him snoring. <laughs> I mean, it's still better background music than Angry MGTOW uses. Oh God! He uses the like, the, like docu- the like conspiracy theory documentary background music. You mean Infowars? He stole it from Infowars. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait! You guys are saying that's music? <laughs> um, I'm pretty that, sure it's I thought that was punishment just at Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> Speak, speaking about conservatives, did you guys hear that Bill O'Reilly got fired today? Oh yeah. No. No. How'd that happen? Um, apparently, he had like there was a sex scandal. I don't know all the oh, details. Shocker. And then that's <laughs> enough to always get a sex scandal. Well, he it wasn't just one though. He had a few accusations. Now that doesn't mean anything because so many built up. Yeah, I mean, minute, again, my he, question is, how is Bill O'Reilly getting laid? Yeah, good rape. Point. Lots of rape. Oh, that, that kind of sex sense. scandal. That makes more sense. That, that makes me... The fact that he can get laid makes me so unhappy. <laughs> well, to be fair, he, despite his uh, personality, he's actually quite rich. <laughs> That's ah. true. <laughs> yeah, I, I always forget about the dollar yeah, that bills. One, that one thing that, uh, that makes all men attractive. Money. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. Hey, guys. That might be the most MGTOW thing you've ever said. Guys, maybe maybe we just have to get angry MGTOW rich, and then he'll actually have someone to stop complaining about. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, I mean, see, I feel like if we could find him somebody to love, he'd... Um, oh, yeah. is, that, is, that, is that my cue to sing? Yes. Uh, yeah, yes. now that I think of it, go ahead. Yes, it is, Red Love Bot. There we go. Romantic music for the blowjob. <laughs> okay, hang on a second. Let me find it. Let's see here. Uh, here we go. Uh, <laughs> where, where's the lyrics for this? Uh, oh God, no, no, no. This is that's right. This is Freddie Mercury. I can't. No, I respect Freddie too much. Can't do it. We all know Sorry. that's not true. <laughs> no, 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 respect no, you don't it. Uh, the, the, the primary re- as, as goofy as it sounds, the primary reason I hate AIDS is because it took Freddie Mercury from us. The other people yeah. that died of it, I'm not all uh, not all that choked up about. But but Freddie Mercury, yeah, I'm choked up about that. 
Oh, that was that is that was a tragedy. That was when civilization started to decline. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, he, he played several different instruments, <laughs> including audience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he he played audience better than most musicians. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I have a, I have a Blu-ray of of that includes that performance, and it's just it's just I, I was like I instantly felt sorry for the four fuckers that had to follow them up. <laughs> Can you imagine him go? Wait a second, we gotta follow that. God damn it. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, it's <laughs> well, there's one I thing think that Satan the, uh, has left us. There's one thing that the female artist could have done to uh, beat him. No. <laughs> nope. Uh, Whipped their tits out? The only artist who got away with that was Lady Gaga. I mean, uh, I mean Madonna. Sorry. Lady Gaga, and she never really... Did anything too bad? Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> Satan. Satan, so Satan, wake up! Wake up, Satan! You know it's a rough I week when Satan five falls asleep on stream and getting somebody done. <laughs> oh I'm gonna God. boot him. Somebody invite PewDiePie. Just to <laughs> how busy what? he's been. Like any of us know him. I mean, we've been successful, but not PewDiePie successful. <laughs> yeah, we're we're only successful in the shitlord community. Hey, hey, I was streaming with Keemstar and fucking a bunch of other people last night, but it wasn't on my channel or our or the cunt stream. But the fact remains that we may or may not have convinced Chris Ray Gunn to come on the cunt stream because of how big of a fan he is of that word. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Dude, like 95 percent of the reason he'll be joining be a really good guest it would be really good if we could get him on when we had rucka oh, well God. i mean both of us both of us uh are followed by rucka so it wouldn't be that hard to arrange that we just have yeah, to you know rucka, do the thing that rucka is supposed to be planning coming ahead. On this saturday if we could get Chris Raygun as well, that would be huge. I mean, I can try, but I can't promise results. You know, just like you tell your wife. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That's the hurt. truth hurts. Bullets hurt worse. That's hurt. Ah, yeah. uh, and Mrs. Schmeckel says, No, her for. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure she says, <laughs> Yeah, no, I was translating. Oh, God. Well, I mean, I'm glad you speak ball gag. I'm not surprised at all. <laughs> <laughs> Here in I... Canada, we call it duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the chat's been talking about this. Does Angry MGTOW really want to make his own streaming service? I don't watch his videos because I can only yes, take so much cancer. He wants to. Yes, he does. He but, I mean, his business plan is worse than the current YouTube TOS. Holy shit. I, I honestly would just love to see him make it. Just, just I don't know, the lulls. Well, to be oh. fair, most of the things that he does are complete failures. Like, and failure accomplished. He managed level. somehow to get 12,000 subscribers. Oh, Jesus. But, he, yeah, but oh. he he's hated oh. across the board, even before this shit with Jeff. To, to be fair, to be fair, I mean, a lot of those could be hate subscribers. I hey. I, I, yeah, I, I think I'm a sorry. good amount of them might be, might be people who subscribe to him to do responses or to post shitty comments or stuff like that. Uh, kind of like what you get with a lot of the feminist channels, right? Yeah. That shit. Hey. But he, uh, he does definitely have some form of fan base. Hey, someone said hey about five times now. Let them talk. Yeah. I, I, I'm I sorry. It's no, I just came across this. You, uh, this has to do with Daddy05 again. Look at what I just posted in the chat. These fucktards have a GoFundMe for legal expenses. Jesus. What the fuck? Can uh, I report fifteen k? I don't think you can report uh, a GoFundMe. And they made it. You three can't hours report ago. a GoFundMe. 
I don't think so. I don't know. But, <laughs> I mean, I've never used the fucking site. No, I, I it's know. a website you can report shit. I, I so love all the comments. Oh all my spoiled. god, oh. the comments are beautiful. They're they're all cancerous, but they're all like you're all ter basically they're all saying you're terrible people, but just in different way ways. Mm. Yeah, sorry. I just I'm I'm frozen on <laughs> Twitter, and I came across it from Wooly B, and it's just like, oh my gosh. The very last comment is, I mean, y'all could go out and get a job like the rest of the world. <laughs> 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 that was Savage. a really good one. That was just fuck. I, I approve. Like, you can like comments. You can like comments on this thing. So I'm fucking liking that comment. You aren't my like. Here's the thing: legal expenses. Legal expenses. What does that tell you? Do they get served something? Oh, yeah, it does. They're expecting to. Oh, it oh yeah. If they've got legal expenses, they've had to hire a lawyer for some reason. Mm -hmm. No shit. Is that what that means? Oh, you can report the campaign. Oh well, fuck this. I'm gonna report it. Oh no, I'm reporting it. I'm. I have a thing I'm gonna do. So reporting. Fuck this. You know, it could be that they're going to go after Philly DeFranco. Good luck. Oh yeah. Actually, I would love to see that happen because I know they would lose, but I think it would just be funny. Yeah, because uh, in, in the GoFundMe description, they're talking about the Phil, Philip DeFranco false claims, as they call it. Yeah, and I, I saw his video, and he's right. He's not the first person to have reported on it. They put themselves out there and made themselves public figures. Their videos were public. It's their fucking fault. It is no one's fault but anyone and but theirs. Right, on second thought, I'm just going to see how this rides out. I don't even want to f put my name to that at all. Fuck like that. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm just trying to avoid involvement. Yeah, uh, it's one of those situations that's, that's where they should definitely be called out. But, but it's they have been, been well covered already. Yeah, it's not done though, not by a long shot. Oh, no, no, absolutely not. not. No. I cannot believe these freaking. <laughs> anyway, something happy, something actually, no. You know what I read to change the subject? Um, the posted in the chat a little bit earlier. You now have uh, Russian bombers that was 40 miles off the coast of Alaska twice on Tuesday. So Russia's being, I don't know what Russia's doing. Your, your definition of happy Russia. subjects needs work. <laughs> yes, I know. Okay, so you know you you pick, you pick a happy subject and then we talk about it. How about we do that? Um, how about we talk about how no one's licking my taint and I'm disappointed. No, I didn't. Yeah, know apparently you were you're you happy subject. Like in your life story. Hey, I currently well, don't I'm have a. Uh, well, I'm getting, getting really my way talk, You see, you hear me bitching about it. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry, I uh, I can't complain because I don't have that issue right now. I'm just saying, it's, you can keep it to yourself. It's it's possible, you know that. There might be. Uh, I'm certain it is, but that Not seems possible, like effort. All right, all right. For anyone who no, follows the, uh, for anyone who follows the clusterfuck that is Berkeley. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, I've yeah, yeah. I've been watching and, some videos on that. And Coulter. Um, her invitation to speak there got declined, huh? and she's still going. Oh, this is gonna be good. I know. She is kind of obnoxious, but she knows how to stand her ground too. It just, uh, I, I'm I sorry, guess... Ann Coulter, kind of obnoxious. Well, no, she's she's kind of obnoxious <laughs> in the same way that getting shot in the face kind of kills people. <laughs> no, she's kind of obnoxious in the same way that getting shot in the face kind of hurts. Look, Milo and her are both obnoxious, but they should be able to speak at a college campus. So. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. I mean, and, that, that, that's kind of that's kind of the thing you it, want. You want to be able to go, yeah, these guys are crazy, and here's why. Because look at this, you know. <laughs> yeah, 
but but more than likely, yep. but I'm just I'm just kind of excited because I want her to show up and I want there to be more like more moldy locks bullshit because I I love watching the cringe. It's awesome. <laughs> it's my daily dose of cancer. Yeah, you want to know something interesting? I tried to get into college real hard when I was younger, but now I just, I mean, I want to go to college to further like my trade and get a career, but now as I see like all the shit spreading around I'm like, and I'm older and I'm just going, college is dead to me. <laughs> I'm going to be completely honest because I'm still in academia. Um, unless you have to go because you're trying to get a degree in a hard science, don't go. Don't. <laughs> Do yeah. not go. Because I'm getting a PhD in forensic science. I have to get um, a degree to be in the scientific field. Otherwise, I would not be here. Yeah. It's terrible. The bureaucratic BS. I Technically, I can teach at the school. So I have to go through so many trainings. Like, we fucking had a voluntary safe space kind of training, and it was bullshit. Um, oh, my gosh. Yeah, it should just, uh, just go to a uh, trade school. Yeah. Don't don't come here. <laughs> and my school is moderate. Like we don't enforce a lot of stuff. We're very conservative, um, and we still uh -huh. have this affecting us. So I can't even imagine what it's like at a liberal campus. I don't want to know mm. because I'll I'll tell people to fuck off and walk out. Oh shit! What? My my guess is probably it's awful. It's fucking miserable. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of glad I chose to be at a conservative campus because we still get it, but it's not as bad. Yeah. I just... As my husband keeps pushing the subject, he's like, I want a further thing, but I just keep seeing all this stuff. It's like, yeah, this shit's dead until it gets fixed. No, it'll get Which fixed is... eventually because uh, uh, the entrance... told in the chat to invite Ann Coulter. Does anybody have a direct link to <laughs> Ann Coulter? I'm 95% sure I'm blocked. Sadly, I do <laughs> not. Even as a conservative, I'm probably not sure about her. Um, but... I, I, I piss I'm going to assume I'm blocked her. without looking because I'm a lazy cunt. <laughs> Ann Coulter? Oh my god, I see messages. Like, I just piss everyone off on Twitter. I'm surprised Twitter hasn't banned her yet. Yeah. I think it has a couple times. I'm not blocked know. by her. I don't think I'm blocked by her. Probably still can't message her. Yep, I could see her. I'm not following her, but I know I'm not blocked by her. Yeah, I'm only blocked by two people on Twitter, and uh, that's Riley Dennis and Francesca Ramsey, who I've never oh. talked to either of them, and I've never made a video about them, and I'm blocked. I blocked so by people. Francesca Ramsey probably because I kept calling her a racist because she is one. Oh yeah. Um, I'd be shocked if I'm blocked by less than 500 people. I am. I think I'm blocked by literally every SJW like person on the face of the earth. I I am so surprised that I am not blocked by Steve Shives because I figured I follow <laughs> Wait, so many of the people he hates that I would get um, block blocked just by. The, yeah, bot block just by following people he hates, but apparently not. Somehow the missus isn't blocked by him. Uh -huh. yeah. That's because you're a nobody. <laughs> oh my. Well, I'm sorry. I'm blocked. So. Uh, I mean, I'm it's blocked so by easy. I could... A connected name would get her blocked. Yeah. I mean, by it's so Christy easy. Winters, to get I told her she sounded unintelligent when she started a tweet with lol. <laughs> I mean, I could, I could totally. It's so easy to get blocked by Steve Shives. I could literally be like, tweet him, Bearing was right, and I would get blocked. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that that that's that's easy mode, kind of. Yeah. Be try, try to see how long you can go before being blocked while trying to talk to him. So that well, like I day. followed a little after I followed Barry, and I got blocked. So I blocked by Steve Shives, Riley Dennis, uh, Francisca. I guess that's for following Andy. I mean, I didn't yeah. even talk to her. And I oh. feel like anyone anyone who follows who follows Andy gets blocked by Francisca. <laughs> I'm also blocked by Blair White when that shit broke out with uh, Johnny Fox or whatnot, and Blair White had her stream, his stream, whatever. 
with uh, Lacey Green. There is, I got some real juicy clips from that stream, and it was a little while after I got blocked. So I don't give a shit. I don't follow Blair. <laughs> I, I like. But yeah, that was really I, I like Blair, but she can say some things that I, get under people's skin and that I don't agree with. So I understand why a lot of people don't like her. Well, well, when it comes to Blair, because I pointed this out in a video, when it came to the candid thing, is that with the, especially the Omnipolitics, as I felt Blair only did that video for views and really didn't help out. Um, especially with the candid thing, because I tweeted every but every big YouTuber I could think of, nobody responded. So there's YouTubers I noticed that just do things solely for the views and for drama and keep their videos monetized, mm. especially when it comes to certain topics, which I've noticed. So it's just like, yeah, no, but yeah, I'm only blocked by a few people on Twitter. I've tried, I tried to reach out to Steve Shives about like a video or having a discussion um, about boundaries or whatnot, but. I haven't, heard shit. <laughs> I haven't heard anything. I was going to say, he'll, like, I think he might block you if you try to message him and you follow anyone on like a long list of people that he considers unfavorable. Uh, I no, hear he has no. a block. No, no, no. He does have a block button. But no, it's not that they're unfavorable. They're Nazis. They're fucking Nazis. Oh, yeah. I mean, okay. you know someone is like an artist of of, you know, fucking echo chamber cringe when they get an, an anti-Nazi pin for their hat. Um, okay. Like, so, like um, I mean, I'm anti-rape. I don't need a pin on my hat to say that. No shit, no? Yeah. I mean, you are? <gasps> I, I'm anti-meat bag. I don't need a pin on my hat to, to, to demonstrate that. That should be obvious. I'm a giant it's, killbot. It's, so. It's just the new level of virtue signaling. <laughs> signaling. That's all it is. It is it's, yeah. it's like an obnoxious level, though. Like, it's just like, really? He's like a meta virtue oh, signaler at this point. He's like, like meta if, I had a virtue. Came, if a friend came up to me and they had a Nazi pin on um, like their clothing somewhere, I would literally walk away and be like, I don't know this person. You know, <laughs> I'll be seen in public with you. Well, no, I would. I would probably be it. like, uh, oh, "Dude, that joke is not working for you." Because no. if they were my friends, I would assume that they're joking. I was like, "Dude, you're gonna get punched, and I'm going to laugh at you, but I won't mm -hmm. help you because you're wearing that pin." <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, I'll see you meet meat bags later. I have to go sleep. Okay. Okay. You had yourself a good one, Cun. It was good having you. See ya. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm gonna way, have to take the off part about the intros. You know, so the, what's his name complaining about the intros? You know how you fix that? You invite me first. I always mm -hmm. deliver good intro. Just so you know. Hey, I do decent intros, but Schmeckle has this bad habit of starting streams while I'm doing things not on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> In other words, let's blame Schmeckle. Yep. Well, no, I mean, he is getting Schmeckle. Hey, hey, Schmeckle, you're the you're the current the points. You're the current person we can point fingers at. That's the equivalent of blame, of bl hashtag blame Canada. <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry about that. Uh, didn't mean to like dive out instantly. Um, fine, fine. Okay, good. Just making sure I didn't miss something important. No, you're fine. Good night. Right. Night, Red. Oh my God! I open up a Steam game, and the first thing I get a card. <laughs> Testing. Well, I mean, at least you didn't get race carded. No, I did not. It happened to me at work from a white person as a fellow white person. They race carded me. I was like, what? What did you say back to them? Um, back to work or I'm going to hit you with something. <laughs> 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 so we, we did... So part of, I guess, a perk of my job is we got to do Ancestor DNA for free because uh, another PhD student is doing an experiment with it. And everyone in my um, in my degree, which is kind of weird because we're all, there's only like seven PhD students and we're all female. But we're no one is like super PC except for one. And we don't like her. So, <laughs> um, so we're all kind of sick of the safe space bullshit. So we were um, reading our Ancestry results 
And most of the people are like super fucking European. And I found out that I was 10% Middle Eastern, which is very bizarre. Oh. Yeah, because I'm like, I, I, I'm super fucking white. So I turned to my friend and I was like, does this make me a POC? <laughs> well, funny. since you're part Middle Eastern, I'm not sure C's the right letter there. It might be an S. No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it was just it was just really funny. Yeah. Interesting. Let's see. So is Bill Cosby dead? Um, I don't know. I haven't read anything on Cosby for a while. I don't think he went to jail or anything like that. But he, I'm pretty sure he went to jail. <laughs> uh, no, the court case, from what I heard, is still going on. No, really? I heard he was putting out a new movie this year. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, I heard he's still oh, putting out. But... A rape case, ironically enough. I isn't there a statute of limitations, and they couldn't criminally charge him for anything? I yeah, don't think for the there's most uh, statute of limitations on rape. Uh, yes, there um, is. Statute if you don't report it within a certain time... The, it, it, the it, reason yeah. the case came up is because they changed the statute of limitations in California. The thing about statutes of limitations also is uh, it, has, it, it only works if you stayed in the state the entire time. Yeah, that's true. Well, yeah, but they also and, have, and that's no, you don't have to resign in the state the entire time. All charges have to be within so that state. They, yeah, you would have. They would have had to file the charges immediately after. If they waited on filing the charges, there can't really be any charges filed. I remember back in but, high school debating this with my classmates. Yeah, but there are no there are no statute of limitations for civil, which I think is what's going on. And while he can't serve jail. Um, he's going to get sued out the ass. I was say, he could owe some pretty significant damages. That's about as far as you can get with, with civil. Yeah. So they can get i got to say, though, about Bill Cosby is, uh, it's so ironic that he's like a pro-family man and then he has all these skeletons in his closet. Oh, I mean, it wasn't just him. Um, in closet. It's kind of funny because while the Bill Cosby thing was coming up, going around, um, uh, the dad from Seventh Heaven, I can't think of his name, was also involved in like, oh. a child sex scandal. And I just was like, well, Dude. all these fathers from my childhood was... are just so fucked up. <laughs> Dude, I was so pissed because I grew up on Seventh Heaven. I don't remember the actor's Seven name, but yet he exposed Heaven. himself to as a little girl. I was so pissed when I saw that shit. It's like, I can't watch the show anymore. Yeah, minute, I, was so like, I was like, what? Well, yeah, you know what's so funny about that show? Like, uh, what's her name? Jessica Biel. She did like a, like a very risque photo shoot that she did when she was like seventeen or something like that, and uh, they kicked her off the show. Yeah, they did. She and she was they, like like, like second old, second oldest daughter, and she no, she was the really, oldest. Jessica Biel was the yeah, oldest. Yeah, she was the oldest. Uh, she was the, old, I don't um, the second oldest yeah. child. The oldest daughter. Yeah, yeah. They, she basically yeah. like, and the way they wrote her off the show is she ran away, and they only saw her occasionally. It's so bizarre. Yeah, because yeah, I think she had like a certain her. number of appearances left in her contract, so they couldn't outright fire her. <laughs> like that's why but she then, made then a couple the, of appearances after the fact. But then the dad actor is is outwardly molesting kids and shit like that. That's not funny. Oh, it's wow. just the irony is funny. I, I think that there is something to be said about separating the the art from the the participant involved because yeah. let's let's still remember the the guys who wrote the script they they still were involved in that I mean he's just an actor playing the part but there are still lots of other people who were involved in making that show oh so yeah I, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily write it off I know it's it's a bit shocking now but in another couple of years from now you might just forget it and still yeah, like I mean it. It's really just the irony of the situation because, you know, when I when I have kids or whatever, if the Cosby show's on, I'll still let them watch it. I'm not going to be like, no, you can't watch this because Bill Cosby's a rapist. Like, no, it's a fucking funny show. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, uh, you could just laugh at Bill Cosby for being an idiot. That's how we should remember him is just being a dumbass. Yeah. I, I still, uh, I still I like the song. rapist counts as a little more than dumbass. I, I, I still like the song, um, I still like the song Rooftops even after 
all the stuff went down <laughs> with the with the band. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think yeah. I need to go into it because you guys probably already know. So, well, even the song "Amazing Grace," everyone loves that song, and the guy who wrote that used to sell people. <laughs> <laughs> Cha ching! Dollar dollar bill, Wait, yo. What? Just saying. The guy, the who, guy wrote who wrote "Amazing Grace" was a slave trader. Oh, nice. Oh, damn. Big surprise. I mean, uh, Edgar Allan Poe married his 13-year-old niece. Dude, <laughs> I like the ending to Edgar Allan Poe. Didn't he, like, literally die in a ditch somewhere? Yes. Um, I believe like so. Like, he was basically penniless and, and died literally in a ditch. Yeah, a lot of playwrights and artists, is ba artists basically either committed suicide or died super poor. So... Well, I mean, also, uh, what's his name? Tolkien. Tolkien died quite poor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, but. And then other people come along and cash in on his creativity. Uh, Peter Jackson. Yeah, I say, Peter Jackson died rich as. Uh, hasn't died yet, but will die rich <laughs> as hell. <laughs> Unless, yeah. of course, skeletons come out of the closet for him. Even Tolkien's son has become fucking rich off of his dead shit. Well, I mean, yeah. but Tolkien's son's at least a little more deserving. I mean, he came out of the guy's testicles. He did, and he's also <laughs> a smart kid, but he's he's never done anything impressive himself. So, that doesn't mean that he's not... <laughs> you know what? That was, that, was, that was actually one of the reasons why I stopped becoming a... a I stopped uh, the SJW ideology because like they were like, I would be on Tumblr and people were like getting mad at these people for things they did like 50 years ago or like things that they did in a society from 200 years ago. And I'm just like, it's fucking stupid. <laughs> Why are we getting mad they at They still this? go after my European ancestors for the freaking, they still go after our European, my, at least my European ancestors for the freaking, Crusades. Sorry, but that's over a thousand years old. Why are you still bitching about something that happened a thousand years old? Thousand years ago. Uh, the 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 slavery makes me freaking laugh because um, we have records of my parents be not my parents, but my ancestors being indentured servants, and I'm like, I I really don't want to hear your slave argument, but okay. Uh, yeah, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, if history is correct, uh. Wasn't like the first slave owner in the U.S. actually a black man? Oh yeah, <laughs> yep. yeah, yeah. Yep. And well, he went. Yep. To, he went. He had to go to court and basically yep, he, beg them instead of for, yep. for slavery. So. Well, and, and the fact that they wanted to he go basically said this guy was my indentured servant and he ran away, so I don't think he should have rights anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and they they also don't acknowledge that the Arabic slave trade is a thing still oh, going yeah, on today. Still going on today, so well, yeah. Sure. But but, uh, but my feelings—that's how these—that's uh, how the SJWs talk. It's like, oh my God, it back to like yeah, my but if you bring it, my if you bring it up, you have to question the last like Olympics there because wasn't that stadium like built using slaves? Actually, it was the uh, it was uh, FIFA. Uh, that was using oh, so guitar. almost as bad. <laughs> almost as bad. That was just as bad though. I mean, but then you also have to bring up things like Qatar. But then if you bring up yeah, Qatar, they, they're a member of the UN. But then you have to question the UN. It's like, how are you guys? Why are you letting this happen? And then like, was, oh, one of the biggest violators of human rights. You know what I got to say? I, 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 I remember. Say, I remember I remember talking to a friend of mine, and I was like, you know, the UN in theory is a great idea, and then you look at their human rights panel, which has fucking Saudi Arabia on it, and you're like, well, clearly this is stupid. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. This, this like plan could use some refinement. <laughs> you know what? I'm starting to get why. Like, uh, you know what? I my thought is is like, I swear humans are not uh, fit to rule this world. <laughs> it's just how it feels. To me. We we are not a species to last. We really are not. No, we aren't. I'm gonna say like this. Oh my god! If they're I swear, if there really is a higher power, <laughs> if there's a higher power, he's laughing. He just, yeah, he's <laughs> laughing. No, he's, I think he's just preparing the final. 
I, I feel like the fact that the Darwin Awards are a legitimate thing proved that we're a species that wasn't meant to last. Yeah, but oh, if we're not the ones meant to uh, meant to run the world. And I say meant to uh, in quotation marks, but who's the better choice? There isn't one. That's the point. The world wasn't meant to be run. It was meant to just run its course and blow up. <laughs> or, or yeah. get, and I, or I get mean that a little bit literally. <laughs> well, if its purpose was to do nothing and then end, then what does it matter if we speed that end up? That's the point. <laughs> we're just a we're just a giant petri dish, and God is just trying to see how fast we we destroy ourselves because that actually fucking happens <laughs> with bacteria. <laughs> How long it takes no, this bacteria to God, kill itself out? That, but God, God's been dead for uh, 136 years now. No. <laughs> you have to exist to die. <laughs> Everyone knows that. And the caliber of the people you're talking to has been made clear. <laughs> I am not saying a word on that. <laughs> I, plead, I plead the fifth. I'm just gonna stay quiet. I am. I'm gonna dead. say it like He's this. I'm gonna alive. say it like this to all you atheists out there. I'm gonna say it like this to atheists out there. What if it's true? That's all I'm saying. If it is true, I. Uh, <laughs> cool story. Like the joke. Um. Well, I mean, if it is true, then he's the biggest asshole ever. If I go to hell for being for using the skepticism that he gifted me. <laughs> I would. I would literally. I. I I, I used to be religious, and I'm not as religious anymore, but I, I wouldn't call myself an atheist either. But I would look at him I... and be like, I, I, would, I would literally look at look at him and be like, um, I was a good oh, person, girl. though. I just didn't believe in you. Why the fuck are you punishing me? It would just be like, dick move, bro. Like, that would be yeah. our entire conversation. Dick move, bro. Dick move. Wow. And also, like, e even if if someone was to say, you know, what if he's, what what if you're wrong. What if he's true? Well, then what if we were wrong about Zeus or Apollo or Votan or any of the other gods? I mean, if you're going to ask that question, you better ask yourself the other questions as well. Yeah, I'm just thinking no, of the, the South Park the episode where they... Gets me with God is what if you follow all his fucking rules but you don't believe in him? <sighs> then you're fucked. Yeah, you're mm -hmm. fucked. Even in most religions, you're fucked. Guy who just... Doesn't believe in following all the rules thing. include believing? Um, if you yeah, follow no. every other rule, that's the point. Don't. Well, ho God, wait it. Fucking hate with that how absurd them. Huh? Nothing. I'm just I'm just annoyed by certain arguments people make. Um, in in favor of religion is like, well, if you follow all the rules, it's like obviously that's what we meant. What happened to your light there, Wrath? It's all uh, I, The the lights are on a timer and they automatically turn off at midnight. Oh, okay, I thought, I thought your dad was listening in on your conversation and going, oh. uh, son? I mean, I, I, would, I wouldn't put it past him. But. I just, all I can think of is that South Park episode where they, where at some point somebody goes to heaven and they're like, but I thought mine was the true religion. And they're like, nope, Mormon was the true religion. You know why they made that joke, right? <laughs> yeah, I know why they made that joke. <laughs> You know, I still never saw the Book of Mormon. Uh, never saw the play. I really want to, though. I, I've, seen, I've seen the commercials. I've seen commercials and rehearsals for it. It, it looks pretty entertaining. It, it's pretty good. We used to actually used to have Mormons come around my house, like knock on our door in a Jehovah's Witness. That was when my, um, me and my husband first moved to the house we're in. Um, they don't come around no more because, like, I'd say not interested, and they just stopped reappearing, and it's just like, go away. 8 o'clock in the freaking morning. God, please. I've never had them come at 8 o'clock in the morning. It depends on... Yeah. It, it usually depends on where they're starting at, because they have a lot of other places to be. Yeah, it really... You know, there's, there's numerous factors that go into it. I mean, they... They literally do pound pavement, and they talk to random people. They knock on random doors. Yeah, they're kind I, of annoying. We, mine would come at like ten ish in the morning, but then the drug dealers next door had a little tussle with the cops, and they didn't come back. So, <laughs> well, I still think my favorite are Jehovah's Witnesses. They're some of the biggest hypocrites in the world. 
Yeah. Like they they uh, don't like Halloween, and yet they they uh, come and knock on your door. I was kind of like, <laughs> hmm. it's like you find it annoying when random people that you didn't want to that you don't know show up at your house. Yeah, yeah and the, the weird like the weird thing is could be because just like with. Uh, St. Patrick's Day, St. Valentine's Day, it's, those were traditional, shit you not, traditional Christian holidays that got mel melded in with folklore and changed into the national holidays they are now. Now, Christmas and Ishtar are opposite of that to where they started off as folklore traditions from other cultures or other religions, and then they got twisted into religious holidays. So, I just... I, I my know. problem with Jehovah's Witnesses is I, I genuinely have a problem with any religion that um, denies medical care to people who need it, and their whole blood transfusion thing is a thorn in my Complete side. fucking bullshit. Yeah, so... Like, the only I, question I would have for those people would be, what if the me medicine is his plan? Yeah, so see, the medicine yes. is his plan. So. Um, there was an, I, I don't know if anyone here ever listens to him anymore, but there was this YouTube channel called, uh, The Thinking Atheist, and on that one, he brought in a couple of the, uh, former Jehovah Witnesses, and they would talk about their experiences, and one of which, because they had to talk about the Watchtower magazine, because it was one of the most, uh, prevalent things about there, and actually, they read the Watchtower way more frequently than they ever listen to or read the, the actual Bible, and the thing is about that, is that you'll notice that it'll change its opinions on blood transfusion, oddly enough, whenever one of the, the grand leaders is need, in need of blood transfusion. It's not hypocritical. It's it, The God's word has come in now, and it's perfectly fine. But then it goes back to being not okay after the, the, the leader's uh, treatment. It's only okay when the multimillionaire leader needs it. Yeah, exactly. see, the way that... I well, come from a Christian background. I'm a struggling Christian. I do believe in God in the Bible and study it and things like that when I get around to it. My view on blood transfusions and medicine overall is something just is, from what I've learned growing up is God has different ways of healing people, whether it be through medicine, whether it be right then and there on the spot, or through some other means. Medicine, I believe was God's way, like the science behind the medicine was God's way saying, hey, here's a way to take care of yourselves. Here's a way to better yourselves. So, because we are supposed to, you know, for the most part, take care of ourselves. And go learn how, kind of thing. So. Huh? So it, it's huh? kind of you, it's kind of, he's saying, you can learn how to do it yourself. So learn. So. Yeah, yeah, it's because the Bible uh, the Bible talks about people being lazy, a sluggard, and it does refer to studying His Word, but it also refers to other things like you still have to take care of yourself. You still have to do things for yourself, and that's when medicine comes in. If you're sick, take a NyQuil. If you need a blood transfusion, then fucking get one. The way that I look at it, because the Bible does talk about blood being sacred, the way I look at it is it's handled in a medical facility. It's kept clean. It is very carefully monitored and not messed with. I am very much for blood transfusions if people need them. I am not for messing with blood outside of medical practices, if that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I I don't have, as someone who used to be really religious, I don't really have a problem with anyone celebrating their religion until it starts to affect other people or until you start denying medical care to, like, your kids. <laughs> And then I'm like, uh, you've gone too crazy. Because my my thing is, is even the fucking Amish will get their kids medical care. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's ridiculous. Yeah, it, it's actually kind of scary. Was it Jeff Holiday released a video a while back about uh, faith healing? Uh, just specifically faith healing and that the kid was denied was it he had diabetes or something it was oh, yeah, the one who like was basically him? emaciated to death it, because it he was untreated yeah, yeah, yeah. diabetic no no it, well, yeah it was jeff um but i had heard about it yeah. first from amazing atheist and then i found it on jeff's channel because i found jeff through his pseudoscience stuff which i well loved. and there, there and, been a lot <laughs> sorry i was just gonna say there's been yeah. a lot of youtubers talking about this subject because it's uh, a yeah. It's one of the, the, the one of the heated things that, that really pisses a lot of people off, even people of faith, because it's really not something that 
it's just not really practical and really humane, no matter how you look at it. Well, yeah, no, I mean, I mean, definitely, definitely. Like, like I, like I said in my example, even the Amish who are super religious will get um, medical care when they have to. Like, that's that should be the end all to that because I mean, those people they isolate themselves from society, but they'll still be like, "Whoa, this shit is bad. We need to go to a hospital." Yeah, and what's <laughs> like and, and what's wrong with the idea of thinking that you know that that maybe God helped the people discover this this way of healing or whatever i mean you, you can easily modify it to make it work in that sense if it's if it's that big of a deal yeah and that, that's you know that's exactly how i think and the comment that was lost in draft holidays video it was done by the comment was done by a christian he goes i do believe in medicine and that god can heal through medicine and just for, with science because i know that people say well science is there to disprove religion and vice versa and my belief because i got into a small dispute with top hats and champagne if you know who that is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um got into a small dispute over his channel and he's talking about science and things like that. And I told him, like, look, I believe that science is God's gift to mankind. Do I know how it drives up with the Bible? No. Do I believe everything about science? Nope. I'm still for science, though. I'm still for questioning things, for looking into things. And so I told him, I believe that science is God's gift to humanity to see a glimpse of how things really are and also to better ourselves. Because without science, we wouldn't have one-fourth of the stuff we have now, if even that, maybe a fifth -ish. You wouldn't have one-fourth of the people on this planet without science. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I would say that the population would not have been sustainable at, like, half what we have now without scientific advancement, because we would just have, like, a Spanish flu equivalent event in multiple parts or of the famine. world every... Or a famine every like decade or so like you'd have entire generations that would be struck by multiple famines or plagues in the in the lifetime of that generation in my opinion yeah but, uh, that's actually yeah, where i'm gonna call you. it a night for me because i really do want to finish some of the shit i've been working on and i end up on streams for fucking seven hours thanks failure <laughs> i mean yeah, I, I loved it it was uh, a great time probably, but probably i need to not do late streams so long anymore yeah, yeah. That's that's fair. Yeah, we're gonna end off anyway. Samaj, uh, call out the guests. All right. Well, um, I, I've been fiddling and doing stuff, so I can't quite remember everyone. But I'd like to thank um, everyone who's come on so far. Uh, uh, the academy. Don't forget the academy. They get pissy uh, when you forget to thank them. I would like to thank the academy. <laughs> I, I'd like to thank. The dipshit that circumcised me for making for making me a men's rights activist. Appreciate you. No, a uh, advocate, not activist. Fuck. Yeah, activism. thank you guys for taking off like an inch of what he had. It wasn't much to start with. Yes, seriously. Like, who? How am I going to reproduce with a quarter inch, man? Dick move. Literally, <laughs> dick move. <laughs> <laughs> dick move. Not cool. Not fun. Not not fun. It's funny now, but I have found your I have found your doc, sir. I am coming <laughs> uh -oh. on you, and then and then we'll have a beer. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not uh -oh. promising your beer won't be spiked. <laughs> uh oh. All right, so tonight we've had actually Tina, uh, mm -hmm. Chambers of the Heart, Hufflepuff, Red Robot, uh, Red Robot, Dolphin Radio. I miss Dolphin? Damn it. Yeah, uh, I missed him too. Some I can't believe I missed Budget Wizard, Wizard of Cause. Oh, the Middleman. <laughs> oh, he was in here? We, yeah, we had uh, the Middleman. He was on early on. We didn't get to ask him the question. Yeah, yeah, we had left right middleman. We had uh, Danny the Dingo, Leon Gunsteel, whoever the fuck that is. Who just sort of left. <laughs> um, we had, what's her name? Hall, Hall, Polly Briggs. Thank you, Polly Briggs. Um, who, who are we forgetting? Are we forgetting anyone? No, um, I, I, I think that's everyone. I'll, I'll re-listen to the stream later, and then we'll see. <laughs> but somebody will. And you all know who the main people here are. So. 
Uh, yeah, you already know uh, the Smackle other ones. Wrath and Samaj. And I'm that so, bastard uh, that's bold. We're going to call it a fucking stream. Have a good one. Cunt. Oh, and Futternutter says he was on here. Oh, that's, yeah. Uh, <laughs> don't look him up. Oh, He's that's right. Boy. I forgot that we made that decision. All right. <laughs> don't forget night, Satan. Kids. Have a fucking good one. Oh, yeah. Satan.